Episode 6, The Worth of a Soul. All right, better late than never. Happy Friday, everybody. Another Friday, another Valor Live. Uh, I'll get right down to it because we got a lot to go through. Uh, as always, I will be your GM for this session. My name is Zachary Mayer. I'm a voice actor based in Las Vegas, Nevada. You probably know me in Epithet Race and various other uh, shows and indie games you can find all across the internet. And next up, we got Francesca. Hi, I'm Francesca. I play Kaylin Lau, who's the second, the little kid on the second to the right. Um, you can hear me in Pokemon, Regal Academy, podcast um, Archive 81, and a new podcast called uh, The Question, Sins Remembered by Don't Sue Us, Please. So check that out. And then up next, we got Paul. Hey, everybody. So I'm Paul Green Dennis. I am a voice actor recently, as of June. I'm also an opera singer, and I, too, have a podcast, The Professional Musician's Guide to Managing Themselves, which I just started. And also, I am going to get my video game slash animation demo reel done later on this month. So kudos to that. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Next up, we got Tamara. Hi everyone, I'm Tamara Fritz. I am a uh, voice actor you may have heard in games like Wargroove, Warframe, uh, all that kind of thing. Anything with the name War in it, I'm usually in. I'm just kidding yet. <laughs> Hire me. Uh, anyway, uh, yes, thank you. I am not in any podcasts. Yay! <laughs> That's not it. Yet. That's all I, 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 I wanted to do the joke. <laughs> And uh, up next, we got Lily. Hi, I'm Lily Lammers. I'm a Los Angeles-based voice actor. You can hear me in the background of anime, like Hunter Hunter, well, and welcome to Demon School of Rumakun. We're more in the foreground in games like Chronicon, Negative Atmosphere, A Field of Flower and Stars. Recent thing I did was a Halloween horror audio drama called Under My Skin. It's really spooky and fun, so check it out. <laughs> And last, but certainly not least, our special guest that we announced us. Everybody say hi to Joe. Hey guys, I'm Joe Zija. You probably know me as Claude in Fire Emblem. I've been, uh, I was the voice of Bumblebee in the new Transformers series, uh, Trails of Cold Steel, Fate Apocrypha, and a bunch of other stuff. So I'm really excited to hang out with the folks at Valorous tonight and play this uh, somewhat insane character that I've made. <laughs> <laughs> I did. Uh miss one uh little thing uh we got went ahead just put that art so everybody could enjoy uh so excited to have you joe uh let me go ahead and just get a few more things out of the way before we get started uh want to thank a lot of people that keep working behind the scenes to make uh this show happen we of course have austin uh who facilitates all of this and makes sure that we all are in the know helps us with any questions we have and puts it all whole stream together. Uh, stream management is always handled by Charu. Thank you so much, Charu. Never an easy job to make sure the stream is as beautiful and lovely to look at as it always is. Uh, the artist you see uh, you see here uh, for all the character art is done by Six, which will get their information in the chat as well, including our guest character for Joe. And then all the NPC art you see is from Hart Butler, who does works so much overtime, works so hard. There's a lot of NPCs you guys see in here. Uh, give those people some love and commission them if you have some money to spare. They're very talented. Uh, Want to go ahead and plug the system we're using? We're using the Valor Heroic RPG system, one of my favorite systems of recent years. It is so much fun, and you'll just get to see how much uh, the players get to push it uh, tonight. Um, if you're interested in checking out everything Valorous Games, you can check out the Patreon that just came up, Early Access stuff on HIO, and Store Envy, which I want to plug because announcing today, if you want to get your hands either on a PDF or a hard copy, $10 off for the rest of the year. So if you like what you see today, please go ahead and give uh, our Store Envy a look and check it out. With that, uh, I'm just going to go to a very, very, very brief recap of what happened last time on Valor Live. Uh, we came back to the party uh, uh, trying to remedy a hostage situation. SP expanded their spirit site to find a new location that uh, we got to see a little bit later. But eventually, with the combined efforts of uh, Kazari and Heartshine, they were able to knock this possessed spirit out of this poor, unfortunate little girl. And... 
uh, fortunately saved the family. They did uh, interrogate them. Not, interrogate is not the right word. Ask them what might be going on. And it seemed to be more of happenstance. But because of an artifact uh, given to them by Arcos many sessions ago, their leads were a little bit uh, easier to follow than once before. After reporting to the police about the hostage situation and getting the okay to go back to Eden Pilot Labs, the party carried out their own investigation before Gemma was escorted outside by CEO Suvite Eden Pilot. Uh, Kazari and Arcos, uh, chatting up their own conversation, seemed to go about a deal where Arcos was gonna help Kazari fulfill a promise while hopefully providing more information to Arcos himself and hopefully going on to the party that Eden Pollard is somebody who can be trusted. We'll see about that last fact later. Eventually, Kazari, Faison, and uh, Alay were brought into a weird, uh, a weird time-bending world uh, that Faison saw before, where they got to see the dragon a few sessions ago, Immortal Wind. With their combined efforts, they uh, freed the dragon from the Gesh, and with that guest freed, was able to provide more information to the party, including the location under the Eden Pollard house where certain test subjects are being held. But before we go into this future session, we never got to see what happened with Gemma and Suvite. No, we didn't. No, we did <laughs> not. <laughs> so, Gemma, uh, Suvai just brings you back to his office, offers you a drink. Do you accept? It's it's um it really it's a really tasty wine from his uh point of view. But do you accept? Sure. He goes ahead and uh, gives you that, and then as soon as you guys a mo as soon as a moment passes, breaks the silence with a. So, you kept the artifact, did you? Kept the artifact? What? <laughs> the one my son wanted to give to Esther all this time. I know it's on you. Don't try to hide it. <laughs> it's on me? Well, that's not that one, is it? I was about to ask you where your artifacts were. <laughs> you keep up with the news. Recently acquired Sovereign Nation land. But I suspect you don't believe me, do you? <laughs> well, classy wine aside, I find it very hard to look past your past actions. <laughs> and what would you know about my past? We only just met now, have we? You know, we have. Why don't you tell me why I should trust you? I, I assume you're going to do it anyway, so let's just get that out of the way. <laughs> I'm not like my son. While he's more so of making friends with whomever he meets and trying to build a better name for Eden Pollitt, I let our company's actions speak louder than the words I could provide. PR is never my specialty, you see. I hire people for that. And as of recent, I think we're doing a pretty damn good job, don't you think? Yet you're so skeptical. Maybe don't take it personally, I'm skeptical of everyone. I mean, I'm only... I would only believe such skepticism if you were sticking your nose where it didn't belong. <laughs> now, am I going to have to worry when you step outside this door? Worry about what? <laughs> I'm not quite sure what you're referring to. Worry for one about my own safety, but I do want to pass this one and final message. Keep your nose out of where it doesn't belong. See, <clears throat> things like that might work on a knight, not so much on a cavalier. We're quite good at finding trouble. <laughs> <sighs> That's funny. No price to even buy your silence. <laughs> if there was a price for that, I wouldn't be talking for the rest of my days. <sighs> I hope you watch your back, 
darkness. Oh, I'm sure you'll be doing a lot of that. Pleasure talking with you. Trust me, the pleasure it is and forever will be all mine. I think we're done here. <laughs> Cheers. And with that, I imagine Heartshine Storm. Does she make a Does she make a scene when she exits? Storms out, slams the door. Uh, yeah, spills, there's, there's spills a the little wine. there's a little bit of wine left. Uh, I'm gonna pour it in one of the plants, <laughs> <laughs> uh, and then I'm gonna walk out. <laughs> uh, I'm sure you probably don't see that evil glare that he gives you as you step out. Oh, I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> it's better not looking back, so you gotta just follow through. <laughs> Glad we did that. A lot of fun. Time definitely passes. You catch up with the party and the information they revealed with the Mortal Wind, with uh, Project Renewal, and with any piece of information Arcos probably was keen on sharing. But something is very pressing. The term test subject was brought to your guys' attention. And I'm pretty sure that would be your utmost priority to make sure that was dealt with. And you definitely know the location of where to go as I bring you guys to the next map. Right, it was his house, right? Right under his house. There was a lot of skepticism mm -hmm. of what a very bad place to put it. <laughs> <laughs> like really bad planning. Yeah, what if it like, blows up or something i don't know what is that would be wrong? really unfortunate i hope it doesn't blow up oh no wow yeah. so sad i wonder i wonder what could be going on there eventually you guys make your way uh through open basements left on the outside of the house sneak your just sneak your way through make sure he's following you um uh, being such a rich place there were a couple guards you had to navigate uh, beforehand, but nothing that Cavaliers can't handle. But something that Cavaliers can't handle, maybe something uh, something new coming up, shocks you guys a little bit. There's a weird aura in the air as you guys come across this. Oh, dear. Uh, is that a flower? <laughs> Who are what is that? Um, uh, hello? Oh, hi there. You guys are new, yeah? Um, I mean, a little. We've had our, we've had our own adventures. I wouldn't say new. Uh, who are you? Uh, my name is uh, Proboscis Spasimo. You can call me Boss. Uh, boss? Yeah, just call me boss. Not like the boss of you. I'm not presumptuous. I'm just a fae. Oh. oh okay, boss. What Mr. is that boss. next to you? That rose-looking thing. Oh, this here? I actually don't know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, so, boss, uh, these are pretty much a whole bunch of flunkies that you were dealing with in the other side of the room. Oh, I dig, took, okay. Took, it took you like probably a couple seconds for each of them, couldn't really match your power. And just like, well, we gotta go somewhere. Gotta sneak in and not make myself too known immediately. Oh, I see what they are. It does oh, look I like a flower if you zoom out, yeah. but they're, they're people. <laughs> There are people. The people. Yeah, okay. I'm going to zoom in a little bit. <laughs> he, he arranged them yeah. into a flower. He it's beautiful. It's yeah. beautiful, yeah. What work. Beautiful, yeah. Such gruesome beauty. <laughs> oh, these were just, uh, they were problems. Um, do you problems. live here or? Not exactly. Do you? Uh, not I exactly. hope not. Well, we can be mutual in our not exactlyness. Yeah. L yes, let's be mutual. Well, as long as you're killing the same people we are, I mean, <laughs> and... <laughs> hey, Bob, I like your style. <laughs> What's your name? Gemma. You can call me Heartshine. Gemma. I like your level of violence. <laughs> That's the first time I've ever heard that. Oh, it won't be the last with me. What about the rest of you? Faison. But you can call me SP. 
Espe. Got and it. I talk with fist and soul. Okay, I hope we don't have too many conversations. <laughs> but I think we're on the same side. All right. I think. Um, Mr. Buster, my name is Kaylin, but you can call me Kazri. We're Cavaliers. Or, or I'm trying to be a knight. <gasps> are you a knight? I don't think I've had your trading card if you are. Um, I don't really go in for the status stuff, so no. Um, oh, so you're a Cavalier too? Well, you might call me Cavalier, but I'm not sure you'd say I was a Cavalier. <laughs> okay. So some kind of freelancer then. Gotcha. Sure. Um, I'm Ale. I'm hoping we're not going to be problems also. That, that wouldn't be great. <laughs> I guess that's to be discovered, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> well, considering about the um, <clears throat> arrangement you've welcomed us with, I really hope we're on the same side. Oh, it sort of depends on what we're all doing here, doesn't it? Yeah, what are you doing here? Oh, I'm just looking for somebody that I'm going to have a conversation with. Oh, really? Hmm. Um, do they live here? I would hope so. Otherwise, somebody gave me the wrong address, and that makes them the problem. Oh. Do they happen to be eating pullet? Hmm. Do they happen to be eating pullet? I think that's the right name, right? Uh, I have so much reference. <laughs> uh, Joe, yes, you know exactly who this yeah, person that's, is. Yeah, okay. You know it. You know it is. A, it is a Eden Paulette. I could give you. I'm gonna. I could whisper to you through Zoom. I'm gonna whisper you everything about them, and I'll let you decide what information you decide to say. Great. All right. I had the Zoom window in the wrong. Yeah, place. it's uh, <laughs> it's a lot to remember. So. <laughs> okay. Well, if it is Eden Pollitt, you're in the right place. So, yay for sources. Yeah, lucky for that guy. <laughs> this place... Uh, hmm. Something feels familiar about this place. Not here, but what is to come. Hmm. Right. Because of immortal wit, right? Yeah. This is where we, um, kind of like look at Boss a little suspiciously and then like whisper <laughs> to like away, but like really obviously with like a hand over my mouth. Like this is where we fought immortal wind. Yeah. <laughs> Not exactly well, the right room, but yes. It's close. <laughs> Somewhere <laughs> in here, probably. <laughs> I don't know if we should talk about that right now. <laughs> yeah, probably right. Maybe does we boss, just... does boss hear any of this? <laughs> probably yes. Uh, how good are they at whispering? <laughs> not, not great. Good. Not great. <laughs> not good. <laughs> Canonically, <laughs> not great. I mean, that's your answer, I guess. <laughs> oh, so you guys have seen some action then, haven't you? Oh yeah, <laughs> we've seen tons of action. You we were Cavaliers. So. Some of us right. more than others. Yes. <laughs> and I just give, I give phase on a meaningful look. I'm just like, mm -hmm, these kids. <laughs> yeah, Hartshawn and SP have been in the business for a long time. I mean, longer than uh, that I know of. And they're kind of our mentors. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's, yeah, that's adorable. Um, <laughs> well, you guys don't seem to be problems right now. And we seem to be looking for the same person, so. So you went, where did you meet all these people? In this room, here? Um, well, I'm a little bit lazy to have carried them all here after I solved the problems. So oh. yeah, yeah, they were all right here. <laughs> oh, how <laughs> convenient. And have you been to the other places yet, or? This is kind of, of a first for me. Okay. Well, I don't know what kind of room you're looking for, but we're headed for a lab, I think. Yes. That sounds pretty auspicious to me. Okay. Then, uh, anyone know this way, right? 
Uh, yeah, it's it's the only right way to go. Right. And, okay. uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and boss, uh, you already came from here, so I could go ahead and start revealing a lot of this information that both. Actually, Faison, you scoped out this place using your spirit sight before, so you would also know kind of what's coming up. Mm. This will hopefully allow you to uh, nice. plan your plan of attack. Hold it. Oh, cool. Hold it. If I'm not mistaken, what there... If I'm not mistaken, this room coming up. I believe these are where the test subjects were coming. No. I just came from there, right? You did, absolutely. There were, uh, most of these people here were kind of uh, uh, making it a little difficult to move past. And you're just like, all right, gonna deal with them, throw them into the, throw them into the body flower. Okay. Um, uh, but you you know all of these people. Um, whether you know that these pris if these prisoners matter to you, you definitely seen them. You heard a few call out to you, boss. Um, but I'll allow, I'll allow you to play with that information as you see fit. Okay. Right, test subjects. That's why they didn't seem very happy. Oh well. Uh, well, what well, kind of? <laughs> yeah. What kind of test subjects? Well, if you were busy, it, it looks like you might not have had time to. You didn't have too many to conversations. That. No, no. It wasn't like a talking kind of visit. Right. Well, you just walked through, like walked by briskly. Yeah, physically through. That's exactly. Yeah. Right. And no one stopped you or anything? Okay. Well, no one important. Oh, yeah, clearly. Yeah. yeah, looks like five people, maybe. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Well, I guess they weren't important, if uh, you say so. I believe there's more on the other side. There's definitely more. Right. All right, we well, prepared. get ready to crack some knuckles. Get ready to see what we're dealing with with these subjects. I'll get ready to see what the hell a cavalier is. <laughs> We're yeah. cavaliers. No, 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 you told me that. I got that. <laughs> but that, okay, that's what we, that's what cavaliers are. People. <laughs> like us. Right. Boz is like nodding way too, <laughs> like, north-south really heavy, just. <laughs> okay, uh -huh, and it's just like, uh -huh, uh -huh. it is. Wrong? <laughs> underpaid, <laughs> underpaid, like, versions of the night kind of superhero kind of nonsense. And while Faison is just shaking his head like, this kid's about to find out what the <laughs> hell is, the hell <laughs> is really going on. He's not going to like it. Yeah, if you want to be a knight. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. um, well, maybe boss, you should go first since you walked through here already. Uh, that sort of makes sense. Boss doesn't even care. He just walks straight, straight through. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. So, hey, you guys remember me? Uh, boss, you speak to all of these people. Uh, they're all in some sort of trance. They do not respond to any kind of word you make. In your mind, very easy pickings. Or very easy to ignore. What does boss do? <laughs> yeah, they're all probably drunk or something. <laughs> <laughs> is it a party? Uh, if it's a party, it's not a very good one. Psst. I, I don't think they're going to be too Archive. much trouble. Yeah. What? Don't what? you find it weird this guy, as powerful as he is, doesn't know what a cavalier is, as skilled as he is? You guys realize I'm like four feet away from you, right? <laughs> <laughs> Apparently we need to work on our, uh, Intelligent sharing. Uh, uh, yeah, you know, it, it's, uh, there's lots of backwaters in Florine. Uh, yeah, look, I'm not from around here. You guys can be cavaliers. You could guys, you guys could be umbrella salesmen. It doesn't matter. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So, uh, people in there, good to go. No, fine. Come on. Them. All right. 
Uh, See? So that's harmless as kittens. That's what being drunk is like? Well, mm. usually. Oh. But, Zach, we'd be able to tell that they, do they look like the way, like, we were, like how I saw them before, you yeah. know? Every, so everybody but Boss and, oh, well, everybody but Boss <laughs> and Heartshine knows this. This is the exact way that um, you guys were. Uh, in this, oh. in a sense of kind of in a stasis. What is this? D this, this what we were like. Oh, they, they must be connected be... to something. Yeah, like to another person or another place. Our time, Our time right? For anybody Just who time. cares, give me a knowledge roll. I will definitely roll because I don't know what's going on. Uh, unlike everyone else. <laughs> they will just do, ooh, 15, intuition. Okay. 13. Uh, boss, if if you want to roll, you could go ahead and open up your character sheet. Go yeah, let me, I don't know the state. syntax for roll 20. I usually use a different system. Yeah, <laughs> no worries. Um, if you go to the, the third tab on the journal, uh, you could scroll down and see your Intuition character. is four, is what I see? Yeah. Uh, so it depends on what you feel like how boss gathers their knowledge. If you think it's like word of mouth, probably they're resolved because that's based on like your your charisma in quote unquote and personality. <clears throat> I would say he's probably definitely a resolved kind of person. Then you could go ahead and give me a roll and see how much information you got. Okay. There's so a little I... button just right next to it that you can click. Yeah. You want to just click the button right next to it. It looks like a dice mm -hmm. or a die, I guess. There's no die button next to the resolve stat. Um... It should be it should be right there. It's like a it's I like believe a... you. I'm probably in the wrong place. <laughs> <laughs> no, on what? your character sheet that then says attributes and then you go to active. Yeah. Attributes and abilities. Yeah. In the attributes. character sheet. Yeah, so uh, there's like Oh my bad. No, it's not. It's character it's... sheet and then attributes. Yeah, just attributes. <laughs> no, I see. Yeah. yeah. No, I right next to There we go. Perfect. Yeah, <laughs> it makes sense you even know you even know a lot. Uh so, Ka so Kazari, uh, let's start with Tamara, who rolled the least lowest. Paul, you don't know anything. You have some guesses, but you're not sure. Oh, I forgot uh, to roll. <laughs> all right. <laughs> Heart shine and Tamara, um, you're unable to kind of see what this trance is really about. Uh, Kazari and Boss, you're, you know exactly what these people are doing. They're possessing somebody out in the open world just based on their own trance, they're not lost like you guys were last session. They are, mm. They're active. They have a mastery of this to keep, continue possession. Who that is, you don't know. Are they like actively moving or is there, are they like, is there something it's, in their face that tells us it's this? It's weird. Like when, you know how people kind of like have that weird, like they're not sleepwalkers, but they kind of move in their sleep. Right. If you ever watch them, that's kind of what they're doing every like every other moment. Like okay, they're in it. VR. Okay, so yeah, these... they're in a bad VR game. That's a good so, way to describe <laughs> it. These guys are possessing like people, like the girl was possessed last week. Absolutely, Kazari and Boss are able to figure this out. There's one, two, three, four, five, six of these guys, and. Judging from how we experienced it and what we saw at that apartment, it seems like they're doing the same kind of thing. Like, they might be possessing other people. I don't know how many. I mean, I guess they're all, I don't know if they're different people or like six different people or just one person or, but I don't well, even know why. I feel like if they're actively out there doing harm, couldn't be too much in just giving him a knock on the head temporarily. Boss pulls on this guy's nose. <laughs> uh, okay, perfect. <laughs> I get to start the scene. Uh, <laughs> well, excellent. Uh, so I'll go ahead and open the turn order. Uh, <laughs> it's not necessarily bad yet. You guys should one, probably want to go ahead and roll your initiative. Uh, Jay, so you, you go to the that. same place and you'll go to increments and it'll have the initiative. Thanks. Yeah, there's an initiative button on the bottom right. Uh, if you want to go ahead and uh, use that. And you 
Same place and in, in increments initiative. Got it. Mm -hmm. I forgot to select my token, so I'm... <laughs> I remembered this time. I'm so proud of myself. Uh, I got you, Lily. Oh, thank you. No problem. <laughs> uh, let's go ahead and. Doo -doo -doo. I always have terrible initiative rolls. Start by descending. <laughs> um, uh, boss, you start off the ambush round in here by pulling on this guy's nose. This 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 lovely meter up here. You for suspicion goes down immediately by one and i'm gonna tell you right now you probably don't want that thing to get to one <laughs> okay uh meters uh just who's, who's suspicion of who there i'm actually this is this is uh gonna represent overall suspicion of you guys sneaking around okay, this, okay, okay. this basement uh and the lower it goes the more uh you guys eh, probably make more sense to start it off down here so uh, the higher it goes, the more suspicion you guys are going to track. You do not want it to reach 10 now. Uh, as, as you pull on this person's face, though, it doesn't break them out of their trance immediately. They flash for a second in normal, and then they go back into it. Kind of like a you give them a jolt. Uh, but otherwise, you hear these prisoners start to call out, wait. There's more people. There's... Are you gonna leave us here? You... No, please, you have to get us out. You, you, you don't understand what they've been doing to us. Please don't leave us. But we're gonna go ahead and start from the top of the turn order. SP, what do you want to do? At this point, moving is not a pr uh, not an option. Place yourself wherever you want to be and tell me where you want to do. That moving is not an option. Did I say that? I, yeah. Move, uh, <laughs> We've been a, stopped in our place. <laughs> if you've been stopped, no, moving is not a problem. It's not a worry. Not a problem. Not a worry. You <laughs> say where you want to be, and you're there, and tell me what you want to do. The last thing that just happened is boss pulling on this guy's nose, and the prisoners calling out for their lives. I'll go here. Okay. What do you want to do? And... I guess... Listen to the prisoners. Because I just heard what... Heard a couple prisoners... Kind of scream for their lives, in a sense. Uh, they continue. It's just like... I thought it was just the one we've been calling out to him for so long and he hasn't responded. Please tell me you're, you'll at least get us out, whoever you guys are. Who hasn't responded? I, I don't know. We haven't saw them. He sounds strong, but <laughs> does it matter? Are you guys going to help us or not? Please. We don't even want to get our hopes up at this point, but... We'll do everything we can. Right now, we're trying to figure things out. Well, mm. don't don't drag your butts on this. I'm gonna I'm gonna activate my spirit sight spirit sight. Okay. Just to see what I can do. Pay pay two stamina. Give me an aura roll, and I'll tell you some information. Is that your 15? Okay. Yeah. Um, you feel out most of this basement. Um, you're able to identify uh, there's no nothing hidden in this area, like no hidden presence besides these people whose spirits are kind of gone. Like their bodies are here. You don't feel their presence. You feel the one that uh, boss pulled on trying to come back very soon. Uh, but otherwise, nothing in this room that would make you uh, bat your eye. You search through the rest of this base, uh, basement, and there's there's something weird. Down, like, in this area, like, someplace you haven't revealed yet, it feels like there is two identical copies of something. That should never happen with Spirit Sight. What the heck? 
I sense two identical copies of something. Normally, there should be two different things. What? What is going on here? Well, experiments, probably. Yeah, but what kind? I shouldn't be sensing two identical copies of something. Maybe they're twins. <laughs> well, they would twins. still have two different spirits. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> Heartshine. Yes. It is your turn. Okay. You go anywhere in this room? What do you want to do? Um, so are these like uh, cages we can see through? Yeah, think like prison. Okay. Think like prison cells. Um, yeah, uh, I would like to try and uh, see if there's any keys anywhere. Give me an observation roll. This will most yeah. likely be intuition, because keys are not really magical. I wouldn't think so. It makes a little <laughs> sense easier or to kind of feel it out. Yeah, I mean, like I can always split the cages open, but <laughs> twelve. Um, you get closer to the body that a uh, boss pulled on, and mm. uh, you you ruffle through uh, his co uh, his cloak, and you find a set of keys. <sighs> well, you're, you're don't sure mind if I do. <laughs> you're sure I could probably go to one of these cells. Hmm. I see what's going on here. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Uh. Yeah. Yeah. Um. I assume I can't use it this round, but next turn. I will, um, yeah. We'll, we'll settle that next round. Away. Uh, what are you? What are you doing? Um, I want to rush over to one of the cages, the prison cells. I think. Pick one. Like around here. Yeah. Yeah. What's wrong? What's happening to you here? <sighs> Some of us are really hurt. When they let us be together, I've been doing... This one's speaking, by the way. Yeah, that's what I figured. <laughs> I've been doing my best to take care of their wounds, but they could really use the medical assistance of a, assistance of a trained doctor. <sighs> if this continues, I'm not sure what's going to happen. One of us hasn't come back yet. I think they're getting desperate. But what are they making you do? Our spirits just feel like they're being, uh, like, like Play-Doh. Like, it's just being molded and played around. And we get so nauseous. Some of us, our, our bodies start to grow weak. Sp sprains, at worst, a bone broken, but nothing too bad. I don't think. Okay. But I think they're getting desperate. It's only going to get worse if you don't get us out of here. Of I course we'll get you out. I don't know what they're trying, what their end goal is, but it can't be good. Um, okay, I have two things. <laughs> sure. They said they needed a doctor, but would my healing magic be able to do anything? Hmm. I like that idea. <laughs> yeah, I think. Yeah, so this this dwarf here. Uh, definitely, they have a, a very bad tourniquet like they may do, but maybe your healing could do something. There is also the healing skill in of itself, but if you want to use a technique, yeah. I, I'm going to give you a special bonus if you want to pay the stamina instead of like rolling a challenge action. Do you want to use uh, your healing technique? Yeah, I'll use my healing technique. Um, Go ahead and roll it. Yeah. I'm going to give you, uh, I forgot you don't roll those. I'm going to give you one oh, yeah. valor just because you're you're placing these people's uh, safety at your utmost priority. Mm -hmm. um, as you go ahead and heal this person, uh, roll me roll me the stats associated with it. Is it mind? I need a yeah. roll. I, want, I need to see the roll. roll, your, roll your <laughs> Understandable. <intuition>. This is a game. <laughs> this is a game. And I want to see if this goes badly. <laughs> um so what happens is you try to heal them but as as if there's something a little sinister going on in their body something where it's not that they're necessarily inhuman but something changed about them 
normally the ceiling, normally the ceiling technique would be fine, but when you do this on this, when you use it on this person, it's painful. Like real, like a really bad. Like you got a really bad cut. You got to disinfect it. Up that out by ten, and they just let out a big, just ah! scream. I'm so sorry. Suspicion goes up. I'm so sorry. I was just trying to help. Just hold on. We'll get you out of here. And I'm guessing I can't do anything else. No. Yeah. <laughs> uh, well, but that suspicion going up, reaching a three. This person finally comes back. And they look at you. It's like, what? Oh, hey there. What were you doing, buddy? <laughs> Having a good time causing some chaos until you rabble rousers came in. Ah, oh, the boys are all distracted. Crud. Uh, it's uh, on my turn. I can't do anything. Sorry. Not yet. We're gonna see when their turn comes up. But Kazari. Um, I am going to come up here. Now uh, I'm. I'm gonna say now. Now movement counts. One, <laughs> two, three. Okay. Well, I guess I'll stay right here. Okie uh, dokie. Uh, um, maybe I'll move one over. And I'm just gonna be like, <laughs> um, hey, prisoners, uh, were these guys possessing you or anything? The, possessing us? Why would they? They manipulate us, but it doesn't feel like possession. I think that's what they do to get people on the outside. Uh oh, what they, okay. What, what they do to us is 10 times worse than possession. Oh, okay. And I'm just gonna be like over here <laughs> to this, oh, hi, to this guy. Um, and just saying like, hi, uh, we're just passing through. Um, this guy? Don't mind. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, don't mind us. We're just uh, trying to get the lay of the land, kind of new here. Wanted to join your cult, you know? Um, Learn all this like cool Fox magic is possessing at her with thing. Like expression. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, I want to join your cult. <laughs> yeah, um, trying to learn some magic, trying to learn your tricks. You know, just trying to be a part of your group. So uh, go ahead, do your thing, and uh, we'll just observe. Jo join us. First things first, kid. Don't entertain the thoughts of these lesser beings. If you want to join us, you have no idea what the Enclave's about. Uh, like oh, power, enclave. magic, that's Ooh. all you guys wanted, right? <laughs> Bingo! And you're just about to see how strong our magic really is. No, we're not. Boss, it's your turn. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Boss kind of gets like done looking at like the at, at hard shine. Uh, I was like, huh? All right, time to make another body flower. <laughs> where Ooh, where are my keys? Hey, did you take my keys? So B Boss is gonna move here. Okay. And he's not gonna converse, but he's gonna use uh uh. Oh crap! I forgot the name of the technique already. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's over there. You could change it on it. your sheet. Uh, I'm gonna use everyone can fly. Uh, uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> Which one is? <laughs> Do you have a song uh, for that? Not came this way into the other person. <laughs> All right. Uh, let's go ahead and roll. Everybody can fly and see how successful you are. They're gonna try to defend. Strength. Oh, oh, they're probably gonna fail. <laughs> uh, fourteen. Hmm. Can they substitute? Hmm. <sighs> yeah, they're going to try to substitute using their aura to block everybody can fly. Let's see. Nope, not good enough. Immediately. <laughs> so, so what does ev what everyone can fly do? How are you? F I, I know you're going to make this guy just go bam right into this guy. Oh, by the way, this guy's, uh, this guy's knocked out. <laughs> uh, nope. Yeah. Boss is actually, is actually just going to use his head and headbutt him with like a big, big fat smile on his face. Uh, so the ground shakes as you headbutt this guy and just, he goes immediate flying. He's taking 57? What's his defense? Hold on a second. Wow. <laughs> I don't think you're one-shotting him, but uh, hmm. 
57 minus that. So he immediately starts coughing up some, uh, coughing up some blood real good. He's holding on his stomach. He starts wheezing. <laughs> you, why did you, <laughs> why did you do that? Uh, boss has put his, he puts his hands in the air like this and he's like, oh, you have no idea what you're dealing with. All right, okay. What, what kind of demon are you? <laughs> Boss winks. <laughs> <laughs> Boss. Like I said, glad you're on our side for now. <laughs> I like this guy. Boss, I'm giving you a valor for that wink. <laughs> I like uh, this guy. Kaylin is like staring with like stars in his eyes, just like open mouthed. He's like, oh, I'm gonna try that next time. And you can. <laughs> and I can. <laughs> you can. So, top of the turn order, suspicion goes up one more because the round has started. And everybody gain one valor on your token. Woo. Yeah. So. Is that uh, something we have to do manually? Uh, I'll, you know what? I'll, I'll do it for you. Oh, I get I, it. Okay. It's going to be that red bar. Got it. I got you. it. Okie dokie. Yes, privileges. <laughs> <laughs> S SP. You think uh, all this ruckus everybody else has caused is going to make these people wake up soon? Wow, that was pretty cool. Boss, gotta commend you for that. But, uh, let's try to make less noise. Unless we have to... <laughs> okay. But... Uh, I, I like your style. <laughs> I love how Faison says that after Brynn just made someone scream. <laughs> <laughs> Look, no one cares about these prisoners. <laughs> hmm. uh, what are we thinking, Paul? I have a question. Are there different keys for each cell? Um, you're not sure. Uh, no one has tried the key yet to see if it's going to work on every cell or if it's one at a time. That information hasn't hasn't been revealed yet. You only just got the key. Hmm. I'm going to try talking to one of these prisoners and see if they have seen different keys used for each of these cells. They're a little frazzled right now, so yes. I'm going to need a negotiation roll because, one, they've been going through a lot of stuff. Their memory not, might not be there. Two, they're in a panic right now because they can even tell not everything's going right right now. So I'm going to need a, ne a negotiation roll, which I think you take a penalty on. I take a penalty, yeah. Yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> You're non-proficient in negotiation. So, this is most likely still your resolve, unfortunately, unless you could give me some argument on how you use any of your other stats to talk to people. I'm gonna use my resolve. Okay. And it eight. Minus one to seven. <sighs> well, this, they, <gasps> they, 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 they try to respond. They're in a panic, like, I... <clears throat> It's not like we watched their keys. Like, yes, we want to escape, but you might need to try the key first. I don't know. Maybe we'll get lucky and it's the right key. Doesn't seem like you're going to get their information. They don't know. What else do you want to do? I'll let you have a move and an attack action. I want to do some observation on these guards, see if, just to confirm something. What information are you looking for? See if there are different keys. If one of these, if there's more than, if more than one of these guards are holding a key. Okay. 
Give give me an observation roll. If you want to pay one stamina to keep your spirit sight up, I'll let you even use aura to kind of quickly, in like a split second, look under their cloaks and see what's in all their possession. Oh my. <laughs> There is only one key. Oh. Hmm. And Gemma well, has it, right? Yeah, the problem yeah. is Gemma has yep. this, and now because these guys can attack uh, at a moment's notice until he's dealt with. Okay. Um, yeah, so Faison, you moved. You did two actions, and both of them would be a support, so that's your turn, buddy. But yeah. you did get good information. There's only one key. Yeah, it doesn't matter good. where that key goes. Hard shine. All right. So, uh, I think. So I would first like to do a bit of damage on. Uh, there's one guy still conscious, right? So boss uh, threw this guy with a headbutt. Boom! Knocked this guy out clean. This guy is. He's on. Steph's door would be a little too much, but he's coughing, he's wheezing, he a, a breeze would knock him down. Okay, um, I'm gonna use just a heel kick, uh, and uh, okay, just kind of like axe my leg down onto his head. <laughs> okay. Regardless, he's gonna try to defend with the last bit of aura he has. Okay. He still has the stamina to do that. So let's see if you can. Ooh! 16. Ooh, so nice. He tries to put up like a magical, like, uh, like force barrier to block your kick. Your heel shatters it. But, nope. Like, nope. Good night. Uh, heel goes <laughs> straight into this guy's stomach, loses all of his air, <laughs> wheezes, immediately um, knocked out cold. Okay. <laughs> and I would like to move. Uh, I think my plan is I would like to try and get the key as close to Bryn as possible. Um, okay. So, so one, two, three. You can move five. I you can, can move substitute five. your support action for half your move, round it up. So you can move eight spaces. Yes. Okay, yeah. Uh, so five, six, seven, eight. Uh, and I will, uh, I don't know if this counts as another action, but I'll slide the keys towards Brynn. <laughs> you know what, that, that's kind of cool. Like, hey, we got, we got you. Yeah, keys. Yeah, keys now right here. From around the corner. Okay. Yeah, just like. <laughs> it's the side of one of the cages and like boomerangs around like a pool shot. Right. <laughs> nice. Um, so these mages are going to try to come back. They're going to roll to see how how well they come back. This is my own challenge action. Let's see. No? You guys still got a little bit of turn before, uh, uh, a little bit more time before these spirits come back to their bodies and start causing you some trouble. So we skip their turn. Alay. Okay, I'm going to pick up the key. Okay. <laughs> And then try it on one of the doors. <laughs> okay. Uh, which I door guess, are you trying it on? Uh, this one. Sorry, I'm trying to do the indicating thing. I forgot there. <laughs> Alay. I need you. This oh, that's bad. <laughs> well, I need you to just roll me. Uh, this is going to be a knowledge roll because you try to put this key. <laughs> Into the lock. He doesn't fit. Well. Not, you're, but you're, you're a smart girl. You might figure this out. Ten. There is only, you know this, there's only one key because the key is a master key influenced by magic. Oh, okay. They, hmm. You picked, you picked the wrong door, unfortunately. Okay. Um, can I still do an action? Yeah, absolutely. I'm, um, not gonna, I'm not gonna rob you that much. Can I cut through the lock with my lightsaber? <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna give you a valor because that's that's Yay! cool. 
What good is the lightsaber if you can't do that? Yeah, I'm gonna Honestly. I'm gonna make you use one of your techniques though. So. Okay. I, I like that idea a lot. Yeah, cut through this thing. <laughs> yeah, let me get that. I'll use just like that was my next one. plan. <laughs> yeah, I figured. <laughs> um, so I do this. And I'm saying, I'm Fred Fryer and I'm here to rescue you! <laughs> All right. Uh, it sucked. So... I, I yell, LA, LA, you're oh, LA. Yeah, I forgot. I was trying to do the cool line. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> so, my fun Luke Skywalker reference. <laughs> so, pay, remember to pay your stamina costs, guys, for oh, using yeah. techniques. I will um, do that. But um, with that AIDS, unfortunately, it's, it's less more of like a cool lightsaber and more of like a buzz all the <laughs> has to grind through. Makes a lot of noise. Oh my God. Raises your suspicion. I can't believe you guys. I'm sorry. <laughs> I thought, no, uh, it was cool. You know, that's, that's the lowest roll you could roll. <laughs> But fortunately, I'm not gonna screw you too much because oh that a technique is gonna easily destroy this wall. This person's uh, cell door is free, is able to get by. Mm -hmm. And they, we're not doing short order, they run out of here. They're getting, the, they're getting out of dodge. <laughs> so you made progress. You raised a suspicion. It's at five. Oh, but someone's not ideal. <laughs> That, that's the threshold to make one of these guys immediately return. No! Uh, oh no! You do not want them to get to their part of the turn order. Thankfully, we just skipped them, so you have some time. <laughs> Alay, that is your turn. Kazari. Okay, with like stars still in his eyes and staring at Boss with like an open mouth and like an odd grin, he's gonna be like, that was so cool! I'm gonna try! And kind of... <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna do awesome! Let me try! Alright. Um, so, with... this is a... I On believe... this one. So, you analyze Boss. You figure out every little way of like, huh, his head's really strong. I got a headbutt really strong. So this is gonna be a strength-based technique. Okay. <laughs> And I believe, uh, <laughs> like see. muscle or uh... <laughs> um, no, you roll your dexterity, but okay, we're great. gonna use your strength attack on this. So it's gonna be thirty plus. Uh, let's. I'm gonna, I gotta do the. Let's see if I'm gonna do the math Ooh. right. So I'm sorry. So I roll the dexterity one, right? Yeah, you're gonna roll dexterity. Okay, Austin's gonna. Just... Austin's mm. probably gonna help me and cheat and give me the math I need, but I believe. So the strength yes, is the strength. Maybe I don't need is... to do so. He just needs to beat an eight. Oh, okay, great. Forty-four damage. Well, we'll see if it works In... with an eight dexterity. Um, not when he's gonna be substituting his aura on this. We'll see. He's gotta probably roll. No, unless somebody wants to overdrive you. This. I don't this... think anyone can. Right? I no, can. I don't think so. But I right? don't think I. It could make. Would it make sense narratively from where I am? <laughs> they're yeah. they're like cages that they have bars, right? Yeah. So you could kind of see. Well, it looks like there's but... a wall on the other side, so I wasn't sure. Yeah, I like it was right cages here. one side and then walls the other. Uh, just because it would be. <laughs> I want. I don't want you to limit you. If you want to spend three valor to make uh, Kazri succeed. You know what? Let's do it because I um I want to do this. <laughs> I want to fly. You can fly. You can fly. Because <laughs> that's what he's trying to do, right? Everyone yeah. can fly. Yeah. yeah. So I'll spend three valor. He's he's trying to he's trying to do you can fly. Uh, yeah. <laughs> his very best, but he's he's no boss. Uh, okay. But with a little encouragement from his friends, he's almost as cool as boss. <laughs> um, I believe the damage is yeah. Uh, so it's going to be 44 damage. It will succeed. I'm going to do the math on here with what uh, they're going to defend with. But, oh, do you reposition You reposition them. Ooh. Where do you want to throw this guy? Oh, my God. I want to throw him into the flower of these guys. <laughs> Create, like, another body flower. Body pile. Body, body <laughs> yeah. pile. Body <laughs> pile. <laughs> Okay, how far, how far does you can fly? Yo, help me out here. How far can you move people if uh, everyone can fly? Three. Three? Okay. 
Uh, so Uno, don't he hits the wall. Um, Woo! What's your What's your damage increment, Kazari? Um, my damage increment is where did my sheet go? So sorry. Give me one sec. <laughs> you, um, you might knock this guy out. It's eight. If you didn't knock him into a wall, he wouldn't have been knocked out. Yeah. And then I'm going to wink, just like Boss. <laughs> and be like, oh, that kind of hurt, actually. Boss looks uncomfortable. <laughs> uh, Kazari, uh, so that was, I believe, you're moving your attack. Um, are you gonna... Kazari's going to make his own trading card for Boss. Thank you. <laughs> Writing down all his stats. <laughs> Kaz, okay. Do you want a new turn, Kazari? Um, uh, nope. That, that's it. Wait, a new turn? Do you want to end this current turn? Your second. Did turn. you see that? That was so <laughs> cool. Did you see how I headbutted him? I, <laughs> that was amazing. Kazari, that, that was really great. <laughs> yeah, he's like doing the like victory like prance walk shimmy thing. <sighs> Kazari. Walking around, like looking at the audience that's not there, asking for praise. <laughs> yeah. Friends there. <laughs> Kaz Thanks, friend. Kazri. I hope Kazri's doing that because he's fine, not because he has a concussion. <laughs> <laughs> he like rubs oh, his head a little bit. That's the last thing we need right now. Ka Kazri does this because he has a compulsion to have to feel good about all of his cool actions. You don't lose <laughs> a valor this day, Kazri. Good job. <laughs> Boss, it is okay. your turn. I have two technical questions. Sure. When does stamina regenerate? Um, at between scenes. So you'll get a stamina inc increment back uh, once you once you deal with this room. With... Like full stamina, or like I'll get some stamina back. You'll get some stamina back. I'll tell you exactly how much you get back. It's gonna be seven because that's your okay. stamina increment. All right. Okay. Boss is gonna move here. Okay. And. Um... Let me pop it open here. Yeah, let me know what you're doing. Okay. Uh, the boss is gonna do it again. He's gonna he's gonna everyone can fly. Oh. This guy here. I don't know how, <laughs> I don't know how to tag here in in roll twenty, but the guy directly to the south of me. Yeah. This guy. Okay. Uh, <laughs> let's see. So you did just see this kid try to mimic exactly what you were trying to do. I'm just asking as a role play question. Does yeah. That, does so, that influence you at all? <laughs> so what? What possibly? So, I mean that was all right, but it, you got to use more hips. I mean it doesn't seem to make sense that the hips are connected to the head, but you got to use the hips. You're all connected, right? You're not just like an independent. Your head doesn't just sit by itself. Look, look watch this. <laughs> okay. Uh, go ahead and roll. 13, um, they're not active. He can't defend, this automatically succeeds. You know what? I'm gonna give you an extra damage increment on this just because. Nice. Uh, so when you go ahead and you headbutt him, immediately they all move kind of three, like gung, 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 and pile up on here. Do you not, you're, no, you have to because you're, I'm gonna do the math. You're, your everyone could fly would be stronger than Kazari. So I think you just mm -hmm. knock these two people out. <laughs> See, it's really important if you want to get the body flower, you got to get them started early like that. Okay, Mr. Boss. Uh, so I'll, I'll just use my hips more. Yeah, you got <laughs> it, just, kid. Just so starry eyed. Just mouth and just like, oh. <laughs> yeah, let's see. Uh. Uh, boss, I'm gonna give you an extra valor, that red bar. You could use that valor for a whole bunch of things. Uh, boosting your roll, you can use it to get temporary stamina back. Um, okay. If you want to read about it, uh, I'll just go ahead. You could click that link. Thank you. And uh, you still got a support action. You want to do anything fancy or are you good? Uh, let's see. I'm gonna move that to the side. So I'm doing that. Um... No, I think I'm good. Top 
top of the round, you you guys are taking a very interesting approach to all this. Uh, gain, <laughs> gain one Valor back because of the top of the round. And uh, SP, it's just this person. Kazuri and Boss were kind of going hog wild trying to teach each, like, boss trying to show Kazari, no, this is how this is how you make everybody fly. And now it's just this person who hasn't come... Suspicion goes up. Forgot about that. New round. Because <laughs> <laughs> you guys Damn are it. causing a big I wasn't gonna ruckus. say it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, what, what do we think in SP? Violence. <laughs> oh, uh, you're muted, Paul. You're muted. Can't leave this guy on checks now that everyone's seen to be tossed around. <laughs> <sighs> I'd hate for you to be left out, Faison. Use your yeah. hips, Faison. <laughs> uh, use, use your hips. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh, just like laughing into his shoulder. <laughs> uh. Callan is like really into it. The hips! The hips! Shut this kid up for now. <laughs> I'm going to use an attack on the remaining ones to something next to him. Okay. What technique are you using? Banshee strike. Alright. I'll give you I'll give you Valor. I like how direct that Banshee strike was. And give me a roll. Just for funsies. That's what I would like to see. Um, this guy, Ooh. again, not back in his old his body. He cannot come back at all. This Banshee strike immediately, like you see, strike, kid. Boom. I don't I don't I don't imitate people. I do things my way that I know how. Banshee strike. Ta-da! All right, so you knock like boom, 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 hitting every single like uh, like joint and pressure points to just make this guy like bring him back to his senses. He goes onto his knees, uh, kick comes up, smacks down right on the head immediately. This one's immediately knocked out because this one was a flunky. Ooh. Yeah, so. <laughs> This immediately ends all the threats in this room currently. But there's one last thing before I kind of say that you guys immediately succeed. Because I imagine Alay and Hardshine, your priority was getting these prisoners out, right? Yeah. Yeah. We're, we're done with the turn order right now. I just need one thing to determine if the suspicion goes up or kind of resets. You know exactly that you have the tools to get these people out, this key but you have to be able to manipulate it in just the right ways. I'll let you two figure this out, and then this scene will be over. Okay. Should we roll intuition or resolve? Tell me what, how you guys go about this. Tell me what you do, and I'll, I'll, I'll let you know. So I think Gemma's gonna come over. Um, Hatshaw's mm -hmm. gonna to go over to LA and then uh, like look at the mess <laughs> and then realize, <clears throat> okay, so, I'm guessing key was a bust. It's a magic key of some sort, but I figured getting people out was more important. <laughs> I mean, you're right. Uh, God, uh, we probably shouldn't be doing that for everything. Let's see if we can yeah. get this thing to work. Mm -hmm. uh, and I think uh, with uh, putting our heads together over this, yeah. uh, mm -hmm. we kind of uh, like, analyze the key maybe using aura or like uh our our own knowledge of how these like artifacts might work from like past experience with the the artifacts we've been working with <laughs> you said the magic word <gasps> take a plus take a plus one each of you and give hey. me a roll okay um and because we're doing that is that more intuition it's it's however you interact with magic Okay. Intuition for me, then. Ten. Okay. okay. So, Alay... So I read 13. You're kind of still in that fumble of, like, oh, I didn't mean to make so much noise with this great. And 
coming back to your senses to kind of like focus and use your brain it takes a little bit more. Farshine puts a hand on your shoulder, calms you down Hi. a little bit. Hey, hey, you got this. You've yeah. got a team. <laughs> you don't just have to, you know, do it yourself. We've got this, all right? Let's, yeah. let's just take a look at this. Okay. So, you guys take a look and immediately, with your combined efforts, are able to figure out just exactly how to manipulate this key. It, it takes okay. a lot of doing, but eventually you guys are able to make this key yours. It'll bend to every whim you want, and as soon as you start experimenting with these locks, boom, p unlocking people left and right. Everybody's able to get out as you guys move towards <laughs> each cell. Finally, like, oh no, it's this combination, this combination, this combination. And everybody is free, immediately pushing this meter uh, up to 10. Yay. Yeah. I think to every single one of them, I do try to say, I'm LA and I'm here to rescue you. I got it right this time. <laughs> the, you did. Good... It's, all, it's all about the branding, sweetheart. <laughs> The reason I had you guys roll is the how much time and effort this took to see if the suspicion would go up. In fact, as the scene reset, the suspicion won't go down too much, but it'll go down by one. <laughs> er, er, all these people feel indebted to all of you. Uh, the most injured are escorted out, uh, giving each other a shoulder. They make their way uh, as they try to get out the same way you came. And they let, um, they all say their thanks to all of you. Do we have like, right. like cavalier resources that can take them to the hospital once they're out? It, you would. Here's here's the. If we problem don't want right to draw now. attention. Yeah, that's the other. Don't want to draw where attention. You guys are. Yeah. Yeah. But maybe we have like a meetup spot. <laughs> nah, we gotta first focus on this, and then. Focus yeah. on that later. We have to clear this place out okay. first, and then we can do that. So, <laughs> and you even know what these guys are doing. They're kind of placing themselves outside the basement entrance, but not going anywhere. They don't want the guards outside to see them, but they want to be out of this place, this this hell hole, as much as possible. Everybody, yeah. your valor resets. All game back to health. None of you got hurt. I was. <laughs> I thought you guys would, but uh, you played that a little bit more, uh, a little bit more creatively than I thought. Gain back your stamina increments. You... I hope you guys have been keeping track of your stamina counts. <laughs> yep. And I think we're gonna just take a small break before we move forward. Okay. Great. Hey. Yeah, Charu, are you here? Are you ready to see us out? I'm gonna take off this really intense music for right now. <laughs> yeah. For break time. <laughs> we'll go back to this one. Okay, if you, if you want to just give us uh, a quick 10-15, we'll, uh, everybody in the chat will be right back. Hope you guys are enjoying the show. Don't go anywhere. All right, uh, welcome back, everybody. Hope you all enjoyed the break. Uh, I, yeah, and we we left off with you guys uh, immediately. I don't know how much I was gonna punch you guys. But that roll went bad. Didn't go as bad as I thought. Everybody's <laughs> out. This room is secure, and the rest of this basement is up to you. I'll I'll give it back. You guys got the stage. Yay. Um, boss immediately goes over here and starts dragging bodies. <laughs> hey, He's got to hey, make the grab flower. That one. What? Grab that one. What's the? Uh, what's the oh, select? Okay. How do I select stuff? Uh, <laughs> uh, you ping stuff by like holding down stuff. on the click. Oh, there we go. Yeah. Okay, no. grab that one. Uh, okay, okay, Mr. Boss. And just Hold like on. looking okay. at the way that Boss is like holding it too, and just like trying to yeah, imitate boss has him. Got, boss has actually got both of them under one arm. Oh, okay. Well, <laughs> he's too young for that. <laughs> he's yeah, like on. tries he tried to pick them up and his like just grabs a leg instead and he's like oh that's enough yeah that's that's fine if you're oh, gonna, oh. look it's important to and so boss is dragging over here as he's like arranging bodies the flower is a really important symbol oh really like from your culture or no no it's just pretty <laughs> oh yeah I, I i guess that's true too yeah i like flowers um 
My favorite is the chrysanthemum because they grew a lot back in my home. And it just yeah. goes into like a whole lore. <laughs> yeah, this is more information than I think I needed or wanted. But thanks for helping me move the bodies. Oh, okay. <laughs> he like drops the leg, even though he didn't do anything. Yeah, great. You did great. <laughs> thanks, Mr. Boss. Next time I'll oh. use more hips in my head butts. Okay. Well, yeah, looks like okay. you guys have had fun while we were busy freeing people, but sure. Mm hmm Did the people who we freed when they left, the injured people, were they just like sick or did they have like lacerations on them or they were just weak or give me an observation roll. Okay. Whoever cares All about us? their whoever cares about their injuries, give me an observation roll. This is most likely your intuition, or if you want to look like more magically might what be, what might be going on with Amara. Boz does not care. <laughs> That's fair. That's fair. He didn't save them, so that makes sense. I was too busy worrying about the key. Okay, so medically, uh, Kazri, uh, Heartshine, not too much going on. Uh, Bryn, he was too busy looking at bosses. Cool. <laughs> Bryn, it was funny. It was weird when you tried to heal that one person, but you just made them scream in pain. Normally, your technique is potent and be very effective in treating wounds. So that strikes you as odd. Sitting down and thinking about it, you do realize that a lot of uh, what the Enclave is known for is definitely... It, it dabbles on the side of human experimentation, but it's a messy and long process. But usually most everybody could come back to it. You don't think it would be something permanent? With enough time, these people will be just fine. Paul, your aura roll of 16 reveals just a little bit more. Um, it's the biggest thing that comes to mind of why those injuries might be going, like, might be happening and why you might need to keep a better eye on these once you're done down here is the idea of Mageborn. Are those magically infused to lo lose a lot of their will and force of personality uh, in exchange for great power? Uh, with direct control from a master. Mm. Tell me. Does something called Mageborn ring a, ring a bell to you guys? Have Is this like a common magical term or is this something this that is you common would... knowledge? None of you guys okay. have to roll right. about Okay. This. Yeah. Okay. This is why yeah. the Mageborn or, or this is why the Enclave is so taboo and viewed as a vile organization. They are one of the only few practicing places uh, in, in Valoris that try to create Mageborn. Oh, okay. So this is probably what they were trying to do on these people? You should think you think these, like, these set of people are not very good as, like, super experienced Enclave mages. But they were getting close, as 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 evidenced by Bryn's mishap. Think, I mean, think about it, Bryn. Yeah. Your own healing magic shouldn't have had, put, had somebody in pain. Your magic normally heals. Normally, they should be should have been feeling better, hmm. not getting worse. Yeah, I don't know if they were full mageborn. They seem to have control of themselves, but they also said one of them had been taken away and hadn't come back. So there might still be someone out in there who wants them in the cages. All right. Well, I think come that to cools... think of it. Yeah. When I sensed what I sensed identically earlier, that, that could be them. Yeah, I might have been a maid born. That's what made my senses tingle a bit. <laughs> well, we I say we uh, look deeper. Yes. Yeah, if we're all done tingling, let's... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> you, you know what, Joe? Take a vow for that. <laughs> Bring that dry comedy back. For the next scene, you start with, a, you start with some valor. <laughs> do I didn't did I come from here? Do I have any knowledge of the the upcoming you, rooms? You this is where your knowledge ends. Okay, great. Uh, but Phazon, you're you know most of this knowledge. That's why I was kind of revealing these rooms. 
already. Uh, you kind of know, like, uh, some kind of uh, a bathroom of sorts in very poor conditions for the... No one want, No one likes dirty prisoners, so of course they have some facilities. And a small little rec room of sorts. Each yellow line you guys see indicate a new place to go, though. Hmm. Let's split up, gang. No, <laughs> let's not. Let's not do that. Let's not do that. <laughs> but... Let's not do that at all. Nope. Yeah. Anyway. <laughs> okay. Um. So it looks like that's a bathroom. Um, I think Gemma will probably want to try and look at the rec room more. I think Bran will also want to look in the rec room. So the yellow yeah. bars just mean a place you could go. You you go in there and yeah. Yes. Um, nothing. It's like the boys look in the bathroom. Master's <laughs> <laughs> like waiting around, looking around, waiting for the other two to make a decision. I'll check out the bathroom. Oh man, fighting. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, okay, yeah, it's the bathroom, guys. Come on in, kiddo. I I already took a shower. <laughs> if we're me. done with this, you'll be taking another one. <laughs> that sounds oh. ominous. <laughs> See, is Don't. there anything in the rec room? Um, like any information or whatever? Give me an observation roll. Yeah, I could do that. Um, I will also do that. Most likely your intuition. Unless you want, yeah, okay. Get the hang of this. Okay, ten. Uh, hard shine. Uh, nothing that you immediately notice. Alay, you pick up some scattered notes about. Uh, if they look like, funny enough, if like there was like a complaint box at work, it looks like just people <laughs> venting notes and just passing them back and forth, complaining about the facilities here. It looks like it comes from the perspective of Enclave members. Just looking like we should have more prisoners. Um, hmm. We should um, have more prisoners. Uh, everything's going too slowly. Maybe hmm. we sh maybe we should show Eden Pollitt that they're not they're not. Uh, and they use this choice of words. They're not fit to run this joint. Oh, hmm. okay. I show those to Gemma, and then I also I think I store them away so that we have evidence for later. Yeah, yeah, yeah. we'll keep it. Mm -hmm. Good thinking. Split up. <laughs> yeah, we did. <laughs> After all that. <laughs> um, I'm gonna go in here. All right. This is cool. Is this like a small, small little hallway or? No, uh, this, this looks like, uh, honestly, weirdly enough, kind of a way to have a little free period or if you're more on the gruesome and vile side, an interrogation room, but on this table, it doesn't take a roll to see. So all these people in their cloaks look very generic and very easy to blend in. This cloak looks as if it looks, it looks beautiful. It's gemmed in all sorts of way. It indicates a lot of status. Um, would it fit boss? Uh, <laughs> it, uh, how tall is boss? He's like three foot Three foot six. <laughs> what? He was carrying he three guys under his arm and he's three foot six? Three foot six. Yeah. If I remember correctly, he, he, they did <laughs> say he was on the shorter end. <laughs> it would look a little big on boss, but you could probably take a, you could take a minute to hem it a little bit. How, yeah. how, how cool of a, stream, a seamstress are you? Or anybody? Boss takes it. Okay. And puts it on. <laughs> is you, it like, is it ridiculous? Is it like a ridiculous train or is it just kind of swishing a little bit? Um, it's no, uh, once you put it on, it, it looks as if uh, very ominous. Like you can't really see your face. You can't really see what's going on. It looks like you're, you're someone not to like to screw with. You look very powerful just because one, just because you're boss and you carry yourself that way. Two is it's very hard to identify you. What do you guys think? So it has like a hood that covers his face or Ab absolutely okay. looks like one of these it looks like i'm just pointing to it looks like one of these flower guys yeah, oh right. got it got it okay except as if like you were a commanding rank 
No. Yeah, no. Uh huh. I can't really tell if it matches your hair or your eyes, but. We well, do know this. We really can't see you. Perfect. Well, I mean, it's pretty cool. He, like, touches a gem <laughs> as he walks by. Tell me. This kind of looks like an interrogation room of some sorts. So was this someone they interrogated that Cloak belonged to, or was he the interrogator? Given this, given how uh, regal that Cloak looked, he's the interrogator. If not the interrogator, he was the one in charge of the interrogation of whoever is doing the interrogation. Is the Cloak, so like, bloody or anything? No, it's, like, pristine. it's just pristine. Looks beautiful. Boss checks the pockets. Okay, give me give me an observation roll. Let's see what you find. This would most likely be uh intuition. Was... What? Hmm. No, never mind. Doesn't make sense to make your roll for checking pockets. So you look inside the pockets and you find uh, a strange looking artifact. Two even. These guys know exactly what this artifact is. Uh, boss, you have no idea what these things are. Unless you want to make a knowledge roll. Hey, look at this stuff. Boss just kind of holds it out. What the hell? Kazri's like, oh my god! Those two artifacts. Those are those are dangerous. Put, you should destroy no, no, them. Boss, do not mess with those things. Put that down now. Throw them on the ground. Throw them on the ground. Destroy I, them. I'm sorry. If they're dangerous, why should I be throwing them? Because that's the only <laughs> way you can destroy them. Exactly. Oh well, not really the only way. You can hit them and stuff. But you, they, you, they help control people and trap people. Exactly. So, is someone tracking me right now? Uh, maybe. Or Possibly. they can use it to possess you. You right? guys don't know what these are. Are they, are they uh, yelling loud enough that uh, Bryn and I would be able to hear this? Um, absolutely. Uh, not only that, you guys hear footsteps uh, from this this area. Oh. What? Quick, quick. I hear footsteps. Someone's coming. They're artifacts, he whispers. <laughs> get, get the hell out of here. Come on. In the bathroom? I don't want to hide in a toilet. Do, do it. Uh. Uh. Um... Boss, boss gives, uh, um, oh, why can't I see the name? Kaz, Kazri, like a little, like, be quiet sign. He, like, gives you a thumbs up. Like, she got it. Got it. I mean, shh, yeah. All right. You hear the footsteps end. Aw, oh, man. <laughs> 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 I, the boss contemplates the idea of shouting down the hallway and then, fine. <laughs> anyway, those are artifacts that we found before, and they're dangerous. You want them? Uh, okay. Uh, boss but hands boss hands them over. Just don't throw them. Of, he like holds them, <laughs> kind of awkwardly, and he's like, "Now what?" Come on, let's just proceed silently. With these. Okay. What else do you think? Just I'll just hold. Hey, boss, can you can you put these back in your your pocket? Kind of, they're so heavy. So I just I just gave them to you. And you're gonna give them back? Uh, <laughs> so heavy. <laughs> what am I like a a library? I I can't carry. I can't go on. Kazri, you... take one valor for baby. <laughs> <laughs> Boss is like, looks like seriously concerned. I just saw you drag a body across a room. Yeah, Those my muscles really hurt. My muscles hurt so much. I, I'm still growing. I don't have as many muscles Give as him you. Here. Okay, Boss thank you. Boss he like, back in his, back in his he like sprints over here. <laughs> um, I think I, uh, heart shine turns to LA and is like, sweet. I can still hear them. Should we catch up? Yeah, probably. There were those. We heard the footsteps too, right? 
Yeah, no. Uh, they definitely came up in this area. Uh, Kazri, okay. you want to look in this room? Yeah. <laughs> what the hell? Oh, my God. <laughs> you, you, you guys playing peek. cards down here or what? Can I do, like, the oh. Scooby-Doo gang thing? <laughs> yeah. Let me go after this kid. Kazri, give me a stealth roll. Most likely your dex as you, like, try to creak this door very yeah. slowly. <laughs> 16. You're fine. You know what? Yes. Fishing goes down. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> I'm just gonna like do a little thing and then quickly back up and then go to state of space on. Um, there's like four guys in there or there's two hooded guys and two other guys, but I don't know what the other guys are like, if they're prisoners or not. Uh, we kill them? No. You sure? Possibly. Well, I mean, the hooded guys we could probably get, I mean, knock out, <laughs> right? Oh, God. Brynn, what's the, what's the situation? Um, we found these little papers in the rec room talking about how Eden Pollitt, they don't want to be working under them anymore, but it's proof that they're working with Eden Pollitt, which obviously, but you know, like, it would be good to have to show other people. <laughs> um, yeah. What's going on over here? <laughs> There's two guys who are hooded, two guys who are not. I don't know if they're prisoners or not. Boss says we should kill them, but maybe just knocking them out would be okay. Right, let's go take care of them at least. Uh, and I think Hardstein will actually move down, uh, like assuming that this is also a, a door to that room. <laughs> you see, yep, yeah, it's a yellow line. You want to sneak in or sneak a peek? Yeah. Give me, give me a stealth roll. Okay, uh, Dex. There we go. Woo. Sixteen. Woo. Yeah, move the suspicion down a little bit more. You guys are almost as if your presence has been completely masked, almost. But you get a better lay of the rest of this room. Okay. Okay. So much for that. That kid said there was only four of them, not a seven. Maybe we should approach this more stealthily. We could take one of the ropes from the guys who fell and try to pretend to be one of them. Oh, yeah. So, so there's plenty of, like, generic That's what I figure. <laughs> yeah. That sounds great. Then we can catch them by surprise, and it'll be really yeah. cool. And maybe Boss we can get really them to cool. spell their you secrets. Like, you mean, like, this robe? Boss actually, like, spins around, <laughs> like, Vanity Fair style. Well, <laughs> I think... That's really good, but I feel like they would know. I feel like that must have belonged to someone important, so they would know that it's. Unless you're really Maybe good at acting. Maybe it's their leader. I mean, it does yeah. mask your identity, but. but are so... you good at acting? I mean. <laughs> no. You only need to act for like two seconds before we like beat them over the head. It's fine. Yeah. Uh, I mean, sure. Either way, I'm gonna get to kill somebody, so. <laughs> Yeah, we can knock them out. Not worrying yeah. at all. So are you guys ready for this or no? Okay. Yeah. So we grab we the robes. Goods? Yes. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> oh, also, do you want these? He hands out the artifacts again. <laughs> um, I think Bran will uh, take them. Yeah, to Bran. <laughs> okay, Bran. <laughs> she knows about them somewhat. Yeah. Good okay, job, great. Bryn. <laughs> she can carry them. <laughs> 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 Should we all? Should we all approach together or from the separate entrances or? Uh, I think if we're wearing the robes, we should stick together. That's and, what I and was thinking. March in before. I, I don't know. We they'll they won't attack us right away, but then as soon as they see, you know, hey, you know, yeah, these people, we just attack. It's fine. Mm -hmm. But we'll have the element of surprise. Yes. So, uh, <laughs> and I'm wearing the fancy robes. I'll go first. Yeah, go for it. Sounds good. All right, boss like strides into this room like he owns this freaking place. You five. Uh, as soon as you say that, these people like they were all like having a drink, eating, having a good time. They freeze, drop immediately. One person's drink immediately spills, falls onto this dwarf's uh, pants, and they look at you, uh, sir. Uh, uh. All five of you are on latrine cleaning duty. Get back to the bathrooms and start scrubbing. Oh, I hate latri latrine cleaning duty. Get ready. <laughs> 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 to be ready. This is good. This is good. 
<laughs> All right, so uh, they start kind of forming their own line. This person comes in first, and they look at you. Are you are you in a cloak, friend? Yes. Okay. Um. So they're they they're kind of like, yeah, move. Like you, you're 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 the boss. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> All of you are in, in disguise, right? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, this dude comes up. He goes and starts grab like grabs like a bucket here. Grabs grabs a a dirty toothbrush and starts scrubbing. Okay. What are these people ones waiting for? Uh, sorry, sir. Just waiting, waiting our turn. You know, orderly fashion and all that. <laughs> <laughs> you, you you know, orderliness is is next to to vileness. <laughs> oh, goodness. Stop laughing. Sorry, sir. No funs and games here. And they, are you guys going to do anything? You're just going to let them go? <laughs> just going to say like, oh, have fun. Maybe we should check with can the we... people in the room. Or... Yeah, you... oh, go look at these. Can, look, can this we one lock whispers... this door? Is, that, is this door like lockable? Because it's like a. Yeah, no, absolutely. You can... <laughs> Guess what? Just lock them out. Guess what? Remember what key you got? Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah. Mm. yeah. Is it like a magic key? key? Done. <laughs> oh, why did, why did those four get to kiss ass with the boss? What did they do that's so special? Lock them in. Lock the door. Yeah, yeah, we're just gonna lock, lock the, the door, door and keep them. Should out. we walk around and lock it from the other side too? <laughs> yeah, I uh, mean, you guys, you guys can. The, these okay. guys are just screwing around. Like, hey, no, you don't, you don't get the bigger toothbrush. I call dibs. You can't yeah, call distracted. dibs. We call. Lock we came in orderly doors. fashion. Okay, I think Fran right. like rushes over. Locks it from that side and then rushes back. <laughs> okay, yeah. So All right. That's yeah, easy piece. <laughs> and then yeah. uh That's not how I expected to solve that situation at all. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you told them to go clean the latrine. <laughs> I didn't think yeah. listen. <laughs> I mean, like if that works, like sure. <laughs> these these people uh oh, wrong tool. Uh, these people kind of like come in and and they just look like they just ask like, what the hell? What the hell's going on? Hey, you guys go clean the. No, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. As he like sits down and is like, um, I'll have one you... Shirley Temple, please. You're, <laughs> you're, you're not the normal guy. Um, I've been told that a lot. <sighs> All right. Are we? Are we free to go or something? Do you want to stay? <laughs> of course Are not. You have you guys been taken prisoner? It's like everybody else, yeah. <sighs> okay, well, good news. We're You're no longer you. prisoners. <laughs> Bad news is uh, we locked the doors that lead to the exit, so. <laughs> no, there's the other way around. Did you guys uh, lock this there? one down here? Nope, no, I locked it. Oh, I, okay. That was my that was my bad. Oh, I, I think I locked was, the okay. one to the bathroom. Like this one? Like all the way up here? Yeah. Oh, all right, all right, all right. oh, oh, so you did? Okay, no, I got this. Yeah, I ran yeah, around, and then I <laughs> and then I ran back. <laughs> yeah, no, absolutely. Uh, it seems like as soon as they saw um boss in this cloak, they they decided not to give you any lift. Okay. Well, that's handy. Um, I mean, if there's a way out, uh, we'll go ahead and... if I think there's one of us still up there. If you find them, make sure they come out okay, too. Wanna make, all yeah, want to sure. get out of here. Okay, all, thanks Thanks for the to-do list. All right, um, just well, follow the flower dead bodies. Um, they'll lead you out. They, they, <laughs> they go to the flower like of dead bodies and kind of look of like... What kind of sickos that just rescued us? <laughs> <laughs> but immediately they go ahead and follow the way out and meet up with the people at the top. Okay, what's next? What's the next route? Yeah, uh, we'll go ahead and reveal to you guys. Uh, just one lo lonesome dude. Uh, uh -oh. Boss, maybe you should go first again. Yeah, yeah, sure. I mean, it worked once. It's probably gonna work yeah. every single time we do it, so. <laughs> yeah. Hey, you! Yeah? What's your name? Uh, Chad. Chad? 
Yeah. Shed? Look at my name tag. Are you blind? <laughs> <laughs> Listen, Chad. A bunch of the uh, lower class robe wearing guys. Uh -huh. Oh, screw it. Guys, get in here. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say we can't send him to the bathroom because we locked the bathroom. So. <laughs> oh, oh, oh! It's it's party in in the hallway. I'm supposed to guard. I see. Yep, just a good old fashioned party. I'd like with... everyone to meet Chad. Oh, hey, Chad. Hi, Chad. Uh, Hi. You know what? That's actually really nice. You know, put Chad at the at the door to you know deeper into this Eden Pollard house, and it's like, hey, no, go, don't check on Chad. Chad doesn't need any friends. Chad doesn't need any help. See, yeah, we're just we're just here for you, right, Chad? Everyone, I mean, everyone was always like. Who's Chad? But no one's ever like, how's Chad? <laughs> no, see, no, absolutely. Or where's Chad? This guy gets me. <laughs> Why is Chad? <laughs> you know, you know what? What do what what your name tags say? And he starts trying to look at at all of yours. Does my robe have a name tag? <laughs> no. <laughs> he looks at you. That's a cool robe. Where'd you get it? Uh, they gave it to me when I was promoted. You don't have one? <laughs> Promoted. Uh, boss man, don't promote nobody. Well, he promoted me. He's the right hand man. Wow. <laughs> Alexander <laughs> Hamilton. Right hand mage. I'm sorry, what? Oh, uh, yeah, that's, that's no, that's right. I'm Alexander Hamilton. <laughs> you know, you know yeah. what? That's what kind of sad. Old man finally gave up on his son? Yeah, you know, the kid was just getting a little, you, you know how he was, right? Uh, right? He was he, constantly trying to make friends with everybody, so of course his father got tired of it. No, Not like, he thinks he's, like, think, they think he's so smart and put him at the head of research and that he's gonna figure out all of, I think he's gonna figure out how that we could get rid of these catalysts and not use them anymore. And you know what? I doubt it. Yeah, we need the catalysts. Yeah, the <laughs> that's catalysts. why we've got them. Yeah. I pull up the artifacts. <laughs> Are you? You're screwing with me. I hate using those damn things. It makes oh, it so hard to capture you. people. They're a pain in the butt. Yeah. See that? See it now? I, I thought you were losing me, but now you get me. Absolutely. Yeah. Anyways, yeah. anyways, gl glad glad we're all checking on Chad, but uh, I'm guessing you need to talk. To, you need to talk to uh, old 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 Eden Pollard, right? Yeah, we gotta talk yeah. to the boss man. You know, you see, I'm glad you think in hell, Chad, because you're gonna understand what I have to say. Unfortunately, I don't care what rank you have, he hasn't been feeling too well. Oh, what's wrong with him? Feeling well. Yeah. Oh, we're actually wanna... here to bring him his tea. <laughs> you know, he could just go upstairs to his, his own damn kitchen and grab tea whenever he wants, right? Why yeah, would he but drink... he's the boss. Well? Why would he... When they're not feeling well. <laughs> Why would he drink the same piss water he makes us drink? No, we got it special. We actually went out and we went to the not Starbucks. <laughs> 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 Which has the best tea, as everyone knows. He looks at you, Alay. I'm gonna need a negoti negotiation roll, but your naive is gonna hurt you. I here. know. Oh no. What do I roll? Um, resolve. You're negotiating with him. Okay. Give, give me a resolve. Uh. Suspicion immediately goes up, and it's just oh. like, you left oh. without permission. Um, no, no, no! I literally just no. said we had permission because he asked for it for us to get the special tea because he wanted the better tea than the stuff he has in his house. Because you know you can always make it at your house, but it's never as good as when you get it somewhere else. So then you really like when you're feeling bad, you really, really want to have that special tea. So he asked us to go get it. <laughs> it's like chicken noodle soup, but for the elite. <laughs> it has lots of honey. Boss is looking between the two of them. It's like. <laughs> I hate every part of this conversation. <laughs> <laughs> Turns to the guy in the cloak and punches him in the face. <laughs> hey. oh, nice. Oh, all right, roll me, roll me that technique with you punching him square in the face. Uh, is that a technique? 
<laughs> yeah. yeah, I imagine like every attack is unless you like want to role play this. Do you want to use the no, technique? I'm giving, I'm giving him the rabbit punch. You give him the Ooh, rabbit punch. Which is All just right. Basically, if you had a mallet, but you use your fist. All right, go ahead and roll <laughs> me that. Um, you're surprising him, so he's gonna take a minus one to defend against this. I but... really wanted to hit him, but I was like, no, I can't. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to hit him in the head with one of the artifacts, but I didn't have one. So, oh, I'm gonna... sorry, you could have asked. Go ahead and try to defend. No, okay, yeah. immediately. I'm gonna tell you right now, this is gonna push suspicion up at least three bars oh, just from no. doing this. Oh, <laughs> man. Uh, he's also uh, and immobilized. He... Oh, he's immobilized. Yeah. Oh, that's wow. perfect. Uh, so you go ahead. You 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 punch him square in the head. How much damage does that do? Fifty two. I should know this guy's defense by now. I've been doing all the subtraction. Um. Immediately, yeah. Uh, let's see. Fifty fifty two. So it's gonna they're gonna take this much. He he. <laughs> He looks square in the jaw. I'm like, okay, I, I knew this is too good to be true. And he's about, you can see him. He's He takes a deep breath. He's about to scream help. Boss is spent. What do you guys do? <laughs> he's about. <laughs> Where is he? He's over here, right? Okay. Yeah, he's damage, about right? here. He's about to scream help. He feels his knees weak. That punch you hit the brain um, rattles him so he can't feel his legs. Yeah. But he's gonna scream unless you uh, guys do something. Yeah, I am going to uh go ahead and hit him with one of my heart bolt clips. Okay. Go go ahead and roll. He's not surprised anymore, so <laughs> Yeah. Exactly. Um, I'm gonna take uh, yeah, just like grabbing one of my like butterfly clips and just like throwing it directly into his face. Actually, no, he's still is surprised. His turn hasn't come up yet. He's gonna try to defend. Ha 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 ha! I I don't I, I don't need these rolls tonight. But what if, what if you wanted to have you want to have suspicion mechanics? But the game says nah. You roll like <laughs> you roll like you roll like crap. Anyways. Um, let's see, 51 damage minus, uh, so they're going to take exactly this much. Um, yeah, before he's able to get out that Yelp, he immediately starts to slump over and, uh, falls over. Uh, I'm, I'm assuming you're not going for a, a devastating blow. I just want to knock him out. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. I'm just going just to you know give him a, a shock to the head, pretty much. Okay, uh, he goes down, and out from his out from his robe pops another key. Looks very similar to the one you guys have. Oh, look what our new friend dropped! Thanks, Chad. Yeah, uh, let's pour one out for Chad, guys. <laughs> Surely Ted yeah. is on chat. Pour, pour the uh, the tea we have out, Bryn. Yeah. I should have released that wouldn't work when we didn't have tea. It's all right. I got to punch a guy. <laughs> <laughs> you, you guys hear from down the hallway. Hey, why is the Chad? Why is the Chad go and clean the latrines? He, he gets the cushy job and all this. He gets to guard the door to eat and pull it. <laughs> Hmm, did I hear that right? That doesn't sound like it made a lot of people like Chad, but... No, uh, it sounded like that Chad. he got to guard the door to eat in Paulette. Did you hear that right? Yeah, He said he I wasn't so. feeling too good. Hmm, let's, but, let's, uh, let's use that key to, to make find this, out. I think we need to make this key work again. Oh, right. Uh, is this going to take, like, the same kind of uh, information to do? Or since yep, we've done it, but before. I'm not gonna make your roll again. Uh, okay, it looked okay. like this door was indeed locked, but uh, with your guys' knowledge, you're able to form this key just right. Yay! It's a good thing you looked for a key in that previous scene. Uh -huh. um, uh, but yeah, no. <laughs> just smashies. This, uh, I didn't reveal everything. Uh, this uh, this area is immediately revealed. You think? If you wanted to, you could storm upstairs and go to see, like, the Eden Pollitt house. But this door catches everybody's attention. There's a, even if you're not magically skilled, there's a huge aura coming from this door. 
What? Okay. Does it I look want to like use anything? spirits spirit sight to try to unveil something about that door. If I can. Wait to stamina and give me an aura roll. Does the door look like it's glowing or anything or like oh, it has it's, it's glowing it's there's just tons, yeah. okay so that is literally ruins. what it looks like okay absolutely tons Got of it. ruins it's this huge aura paul uh you know the guest from last round there oh it's it's not entirely a guest because this is this isn't a mortal creature of, of sentience but it feels as though a similar kind of enchantment where the only people who could get past this door are the people deemed, you know, lack for a better word, worthy to cross it. No key, no keyhole, no nothing. It's you, if this is, you're not on the guest list, you're probably not getting in. Or so you think. Every magical enchantment has a way to be broken. Indeed, it does. Let's check out this table. Could a spiritual attack break it? Possibly. Hmm. That looks insanely familiar. Would kind of like key that guess. Do anything? No, There's it no won't. Keyhole. No, okay. it won't. <laughs> hey, Ale, Catherine, hmm? remember that guess? Yeah. yeah. That's exactly the, almost the same exact sensation I'm getting behind that door. Oh, oh, uh, away. Throw the, the, the artifact things at it. Oh. Maybe it'll break it. <laughs> I'm sorry, so, so the really super dangerous thing that you said was like, I should have destroyed them. You want to throw them at the right. door? Um. Yeah, so maybe if you throw it at the door, it'll both break. You yeah, know okay. what I mean? I'm going to stand over here. Yeah, right. okay. Um, I will stand over here, but you can do it, Olay! I think these are catalysts, though, for doing the other thing. Can I roll to see what I know about breaking the enchantment on the store? Yeah. Okay. Absolutely, you can. God. <laughs> you you don't have much more information than what uh, Faison was already telling you. Yeah. I'm going to also take a look because I've been like cracking the key shit since we got in. So <laughs> yeah, you're doing great. Go for it. Yeah. Yeah. No, I I don't nope. know anything. Oh, no. I'm, from, I'm not good at this stuff. From just general knowledge, though, I can assume the catalysts don't have something to do. If with? I remember correctly, spirit, if I can try a spiritual attack, that seemed to work on that guest the last time. So, how did you do this? You attacked it using spirit attacks? Yeah. But then again, if we make any more noise, the suspicion will go up. <laughs> I mean, this is Eden Pollitt. Yeah. From what we know, uh, there might be one more other person here, but, uh, probably gonna have to deal with the big man himself so let's try something i'm gonna try a gamma spare attack on that okay yeah uh give me a roll so I'm gonna go ahead and reveal something to you guys now. Uh, wrong thing. So, and this should be right here. Um, so, Paul, you unleash your gamma spear, and you there's a resonant blast, like it rings throughout the halls. It there's it's it's an audible chime, and it just it echoes throughout these hallways, and you that guys means... hear down from the latrines. It's like, what the heck is that? Is there a fight oh, no. going on? Oh no! Suspicion goes up. Oh no! The door oh. door unlocking went up though. The door lock unlocking. Yeah. Uh, All can right. You guys, not see it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 Um, 
Yeah, uh, so I think <laughs> Go ahead and then add yourselves to turn order again. <laughs> oh, oh no. there we go. <laughs> okay. This is gonna matter. This might matter. Oh no. I don't like this. I don't like this. Why are my rolls so terrible? <laughs> Get him out of the uh. way, that's all. I got them out of the way last time. <laughs> well, you get him out of the way again. <laughs> Might have been bad today too. Hard, hard shine. Like it, you're, you're up. Okay. Um, I would like to hit the door with my super sparkle heart beam. <laughs> okay. Gain, gain a valor. And for shouting your attack name, and okay. So a 14. Again, uh, the door looks like it, has, it is as if absorbing it and growing stronger. You feel as though you're making progress in effort. And SP, because you know this knowledge about this door, it's almost as if you're going to try to overload the enchantment. Hmm. It definitely goes up. The ringing that happened before, it this is a very controlled blast that you unleashed, Heartshine. It mm -hmm. doesn't look like it's gonna be uh, that bad. Uh, no no sound escapes, like once you guys get here, it's very quiet. Doesn't feel like suspicion's going up. Faison, uh, not to be mean, but we're gonna count you initiating that turn as your turn. Right. Plus, boss hasn't got some action yet as of so, right now. So, in other words, my gamma sphere is a very resonant attack, correct? It it was more so uh, just the mechanic of trying to just throw more power with less caution. Uh, it, it was just a loud attack. Like your gamma sphere, like using these techniques are super loud. Hmm. If you feel like you like. Not to be like GM, but roll better. Uh, it might not. <laughs> it might not be as loud. Gotcha, gotcha. Okay. Uh, is there anything on this table that he's standing next to you that looks at all like? Yeah. Like you don't need to roll for this. You look at uh, the. You look at the table and you see what looks to be a book of initials, and it just there's initials and it's. S E P in and out, and it's mostly the initials of S E P in and out, in and out. But there's a few others on there. There's 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 one M M in out. There's one. Uh, there's actually more than one. There's a few K V's in out, in out, and SCP. just a couple V C's in out. Hold up, S E P N out. Does it? Those initials, Sevu Aiden Pollitt. Yeah, sure. This is definitely some kind of uh, you know logbook. Um, so if we can find ourselves an M M or a B C, any of you guys have those initials? We could change our names. <laughs> yeah, if, yeah, that'll probably work. Any, <laughs> anybody <laughs> thinks about guessing those initials? Give me a roll. Uh, yeah, yeah. Okay. I would like to try and rack my brain here. I will also try. Okay. 12. Whoa. Anybody who cares to figure out what these... There you go. <laughs> nope. <Grin. laughs> nope. There don't care. Go. So what were they again? They were... I'll, I'll, I'll give you guys a note uh, as well, but they were... You, you easily found out the first one. SEP with Sue, Vite, and Paulette. There's mm -hmm. MM. There's KV. And there is also there is also uh, VC. All right. Uh, uh, KV was uh, Kostya Volkov, the CEO of Red Sun. Didn't Maybe. Need, didn't even need me to. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> there's no just smart. There's no proof, but you could assume. I mean, it would fit. The M O fits. As for the others, Lily, hmm. you know, you you met an M.M. That name is so damn familiar. You think it has to be some knights or cavaliers, like real initials? 
and mm. no, it has to be a knight or cavalier. You you know this much immediately. Same same. I'll give you I'll give you VC though. Von Gray Matter Cadogan. <gasps> that is the only one you could give it that high of a roll. MM mm -hmm. still eludes you. You don't know um, who MM is. Can I? I know Kazri rolled for that, but knowing, uh, can I ask Kazri if there's like a knight that has the initials MM? Kazri, <laughs> you, I'm giving you a plus five. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, to a new, to a new roll. To uh, this would most likely be. It's this isn't word of mouth. This has to be your intuition, but I will give you a plus five. Okie dokie. Hold on. Because you have to, this would have to stick in your mind of what MM was. Okay. And I'm sorry, you said intuition, right? Yes. Okay. This has to be intuition. I'm going to give you. So 10 plus 5, 15. Hmm. Maverick Arsenal Maimon. Uh. <gasps> Maverick Arsenal. Maybe. No! That can't be! He's Arsenal. a knight you adore! I know! And he like pulls out his trading cards and like goes through them and then just like, hey, I found him! Gemma, this is bad. He's been around us. That the yep. headquarters. Yep. This is really bad. Damn it! Yep. Ugh. Okay. Everyone calm down. Everyone calm down. He's one of my favorites. Please. I even have a limited edition one. I know, I know. But now we know how they're getting their information. It's an inside how did, job. How did they know we were going to be at that museum job? They had somebody in the Cavalier headquarters. Oh no. Are all the knights corrupt? Every knight we've met has been corrupt in some way. Boss, this is not news to you. <laughs> oh wow! Okay, yeah, surprise. Cavaliers and knights are corrupt. Can we? Can we? Uh, kind of move this along. All right. Yeah. Uh, I mean, you want to work on the door? <laughs> yeah. If you'd like to work on the door, be our guest. Well, I'm. Uh, too bad I gave you guys those artifacts. Otherwise, I'd throw them at the door. <laughs> well, that was a good idea. Who, who has them right now? I Brent. do. <laughs> Uh, I still don't okay. think it's a good idea. Yeah. <laughs> it's not a good idea. As as far as what's going on, uh, Joe, it's your turn. Looking at that was a free action. We just got caught up in exposition. Okay. You could do whatever you think Boss would do at this moment. Uh, Has Boss seen this kind of door before? Give me a knowledge roll with a plus three. So that would be your intuition, most likely. I don't really have any of that, so. But you 16. rolled... You have seen this door before. This is this is a standard uh, enclave lock. You you dealt with enclaves before. Only a only someone who's a very skilled mage, not in a not in a way of combat, but skilled in the way of just general arcane arts, pushing arcane knowledge that has been lost. Lost knowledge, you know. If you attack this door, even physically, I'm gonna give you a plus two. Well, all right. You know exactly how to deal with this door. Boss heads butts the door. Give me, <laughs> okay, give me give me a roll. Any particular roll? And you, this could just be straight muscle. It sounds like it, because you're just head butting the door anyway. Yes. So roll me your muscle with a plus two. Fifteen. <laughs> there, it looks like glass shattering like it's almost almost there um the problem being uh physical attacks and you don't care about this physical attacks are very hard to mask because this is a magical barrier trying to absorb that energy everybody else could get away the magic attacks physical though you jump this meter up to two but suspicion and the door are on the cusp and I'm going to remind you guys, you do not want this to hit 10. But you, it's, 
it's almost about to break. You're like, everybody knows how powerful you are. Smash that head, boom. Like cracks start to form. <laughs> One good blow, physical or magical, will just blow this thing away. But now it's Kazari's turn. Okay. Use, use your hips. Uh, right. He's like staring at his trading <laughs> cards. But he's like having a little bit of a midlife crisis right now, even though he's only 14. And he like he sadly like puts his trading cards away. And he like comes over and he's like, right, use the hips. And he just, um, he's going to use his stabby stab. Okay. Wait a minute. Why don't uh, you try a magic attack if you have one? I'm I don't. That attack made a, quite a bit of noise. I don't have any magic attacks. I mean, you could always try mine, <laughs> or mine. Oh or yeah. Mine. <laughs> but yours made a lot of noise too. I'm <laughs> gonna try uh, the super sparkle heart beam. Go for it. <laughs> roll dex. Roll dexterity. Okay. <laughs> uh, uh. Okay. Also, Harshine, how much stamina does Kazri need to pay for that? Oh, uh, I think it's four. Let me just check. Yeah, don't forget uh, your stamina cost. Yeah, sorry. Uh, that's four. Yeah. Four. Mm -hmm. Okay. I can do math. Cool. And he's kind of like, I guess, not really into it because he's still thinking about Arsenal. <laughs> and Grayshine. Yeah, you, and you're he's not just like super sparkle heart beam. <laughs> oh, you, you focus more on the power of this, and you just keep going, and keep going, and keep going, until this door overloads, and completely shatters. It does oh, unlock, but suspicion is going to hit ten and immediately lock. You hear her down in the latrines. Hey, wait a second, guys. <laughs> I just got an idea. <laughs> Let's quit. <laughs> yeah. I love that for them. Let's, you know let's what? Go make yeah. the you guys. clean the latrine. Yeah. And this guy goes and tries the door. What the? Hey. Hey, guys. <laughs> Try the other door. And they do. We're locked in. Magical explosions go off everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> um, you guys feel... Uh, we're going to reset the round, by the way, just because you guys successfully dealt with the door. And now, most likely... Give me one second. Oops. Want to move in. Uh, we're not going to worry about movement yet, but you have a feeling whatever's coming up, they're going to be following behind you. Don't worry about it right now. Continue this as if it's RP, but let's keep going. Okay. Um, yeah, well, though. we can hear the, uh, the explosions, right? Oh, like you we can, yeah. You hear it. um, it's going off everywhere. These guys are pissed. Yeah, Gemma's going to fucking just lock the door. <laughs> oh, that's smart. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> okay. If you're going to do that, though, then we might have to worry about your actions. <laughs> also, I thought it was going to go a little qu uh, quicker. How good are you guys to stay just a little bit longer? I'm okay. Yeah. I'm okay. Okay. Perfect. Uh, I'm not going to worry about time too much then. Gemma. Uh... Are you going to stay here and lock the door? It's going to forgo. It's going to for if you do, it's going to forgo you immediately following the uh the party in. Um Yes. Cuz it does take time to Yes. Make I'm going to I'm just going to try and buy us a little extra um time in there. Okay. This is a stressful situation, so while I would normally not ask you, you mm -hmm. now need to kind of keep your head cool and concentrate. So Yeah. Give me a roll. Aura intuition, most likely, to bring out your magic. Aura. Nine. This is going to take a little longer than you initially thought. You're going to be here for... And it's going to take... Uh, while you would normally need to... Like, you'd be fine. You could sprint back over. You're not going to use your action to sprint back over once you're done. 
phase on. All right. The door, the path is clear. Zimba, are you going to be okay? Yes. Um, it's just, it's really fiddly. All right. Oh, music change. Let's make it, let's make it quick. So I'm going to go ahead. Okay. Um, would you like to look past this door? I mean, yeah, I'm going to use my spirit sight. I don't think you activated it yet, so pay two stamina. And go ahead and enroll for me. That is thematically the number I need. <laughs> so, uh, SP, uh, you go ahead and as you as you spirit sight, <laughs> something something's coming, something's coming right now. Um, and it's not it's gonna look weird, but immediately a serpentine body slams through this area flies all the way past you. You don't need to move, but flies immediately past. It is soaring as majestically as most sky dragons do, busts through these things and comes over here and starts going crazy. What was that? Was that Immortal Wind? Chad is screwed. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. You Was that a motor wind? But here's the bad so? Here's the bad news, SP. You know the two you know the two identical beings that you felt? Yeah. That was oh, one of them. Oh. And they're up ahead? They are up ahead. You you, uh, you could go right outside this door if you want, but that's where you'll have to stop. All right, I'm gonna. Yeah, I'm gonna try to find out more, cause that. Jesus. Okay. No. This is bad. Boss, do you follow? Oh, yeah. That, that <laughs> dragon? Uh, I don't know. Are we counting movement right now? No. Okay. Um, here's here's actually all I need to know is Boss, Kazari, and Alay. Are you guys going to follow or stay with Hardshine right now? Uh, I think we have to follow. I'm sorry, <laughs> That's okay. Yeah. You go. Boss is <laughs> crap. He's out. Damn it. That, <laughs> that, that was only one of them. One of what? That, did you see that beat that dragon? What dragon? Yeah, of course I saw the dragon. <laughs> <laughs> that was, remember that thing I sensed? Okay, you wouldn't know. That was a mortal That's, wind. Yeah, but there's two of them. That was one of them. Is he helping us? We have no idea. Yeah, Kasseri. wait. Yeah. You have no doubt. This is not a role. This is not. This is a. This is a thought. This feels so familiar. This feels like he wants to help you. You have this. Aww. You have this super gut feeling. He's trying to buy you guys some time. Aww, I'm gonna but cry. he right now he is super weak. He may not even be able to hold these guys for long. Oh no. Okay. Oh, he's like really torn and he like keeps looking back Kazri just keeps looking back and he's like um i don't know if a mortal wind can hold on but if he's also up ahead we have to help him too because we promised we would i don't know if the one up ahead is him all right uh i i think he'll be okay i hope <laughs> so the top of the round is gonna look a little different 
Uh, we wouldn't normally focus on hard shine, but you're still dealing with locking the door at the moment. But Sorry, guys. <laughs> what, what do you guys see? Why is my reveal tool not working? Here we go. You see a room, and it's the biggest push of deja vu. Oh, no. <laughs> and these people are all immediately knocked out. You think Immortal Wind using his last bit of energy. Phazon, the the twin kind of spirit you felt is directly here. And as soon as you make that connection, this little pod opens up very slowly. And out of it comes one being that looks like this. <gasps> it is Baby. eerily human looking. Oh, this oh no. Uh... Is that a mage born? There's very little doubt in this. And yeah, go ahead and move your, move yourselves into here. Phazon, you know one other thing though. A very familiar feeling, Suvite even Eden Paulet is through this door. That door. Yep. This that, door. That door. Someone I'm assuming. Who cares it's... about Mageborn? Give me a knowledge roll. Um, I'll try it. I would, but I'm not know it. it but... The only person is gonna be Hardshine who can't do this. Oh, I don't know anything. <laughs> Add an eleven. Uh. You don't. Mageborns follow an order and carry them out until they cannot carry that order out any longer. And just the look in the eyes of this mageborn it looks to be protect and just protect guys one thought comes up what if the thing it protects no longer exists and this thing i think that's a guess these artifacts even if we have to do this thing is probably going to protect this but if we destroyed the this is probably the guess thing right so, I wish I could modify this room a little bit more. This room looks in ruin. None of these lights should look like it's on. This ball okay. itself should look like it's shattered. And is that because of what we did? You have a feeling it's what you did last episode. That why, oh. why a mortal win is out as he is trying to help you guys. Why this thing exists. It's weird. You don't have the fullest understanding of everything going on, but these are the weirdest hunches that are just going on in your mind. <sighs> so it's just, um, this thing is just standing there, but it's humanoid, right? It's, it's, it's humanoid and reptilian looking, as it's if like... a combination. Oh, no. Let me guess. This thing was used. Let me guess. Immortal Wind's DNA. His genetics was used on that thing, wasn't it? It's a hunch. Like a clone? Yeah, think about it. I sent two exact same things. Immortal Wind and that thing. There's only one way to prove it. I have Immortal a, a... Wind's... Oh, sorry. <laughs> sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt you, Paul. Immortal Wind's DNA. It was used to make that mage born. That's why it felt exactly the same. So I have a, a lore question. Is this similar to, like, the Chimeras? Yes and no. Okay. That's all. Anyways, it takes its turn to kind of look around, familiarize itself familiarize itself in the room and Kazari it immediately locks eyes with you and that's and you feel as if it wants to approach Heartshine 
you immediately go ahead and finish locking this door. But to now catch up with the others, I'm unfortunately going to take one extra turn for you to get there. Starting your next round, you're in here though and can act. Okay. So I'm like halfway there. <laughs> Pretty much. Uh, but you do feel that uh, with as soon as Immortal Wind can s- gives all of its god and these people start to come in, um, this door will have to be their next barrier. But once this barrier is gone, there's nothing stopping between uh, this room, this creature, and Eden Pollitt himself somewhere in here. <laughs> Faison. I'm going to go ahead and reveal one final thing before you choose what to do. Oh, it's already it's already revealed. My bad. <laughs> um, similar to the door before, though. I don't know why I had a one. It's at a five. So this thing is kind of broken, right? It's it's locked eyes with Kazri. <sighs> and you want you want to pay one stamina cost, and I'll get. And roll me spirit sight. I'll give you a little more info. Yeah. Okay. Roll me aura. All right. Okay. I I can't give you even with like the plus one I would give you. You're not sure, other than it's locking eyes with Kazri, what you can do about this mage orc currently. Two thoughts cross your mind. Defeat it, or break this door. <sighs> but it's not going to wait. Yeah. I'm going to attempt to break that door first. I think you can move there. One, two, three. Yeah, easy. Um, how 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 are you muscling through this door? I'm gonna use a technique. I'll give you I'll give you a bonus for using a technique. And I'm going to use. Heavenly Rush. Okay. That's a move action, too. I'm going yeah. to give you a plus three because it requires you to move. So you're just going to slam into this door. I'll give you a plus three on this. Uh, 16. You slam into this door with Heavenly Rush. <laughs> Of valor. I like those batter, battle cries. Uh, the door moves up two points. It's hard, gonna be hard to do any more uh, forcing on this door because you're taking up a good bit of it. But we'll call that your turn, unless you want to use your support action for anything. A boost, the heal. I'm gonna end my turn. Boss. This a... So this is a very powerful creature. Probably fun to fight. But yeah, boss there's is pretty, also... pretty sto- torn between what's behind this door and uh fighting Faison, something pretty big. Faison, do you reveal that Eden Pollock signatures oh, through my here? Bad, yeah. Um I don't think it was revealed. With... No, you know that. You know, you know for a fact he's behind this door. Do you? Yeah, know Eden. Anybody? Eden Paul's behind that door. Okay. <laughs> That's, important. That's important because there might be somebody looking for him. So Boz's eyes are kind of going like door, mutant dragon, door, mutant dragon, mm-hmm. door, mutant. Dragon. Boss. 
Eat a pullet, I can sense him behind that door. Can you get the door open? Break this door, we don't have to worry about that thing. Well, you're kind of in the way, I'd have to break you too. <laughs> That's true, right, Zach? I, I, I can't get past him to like, help force the door or can I? So mechanically, you could try, it'll be at a penalty. You won't, yeah. you won't, if, if you care about not hurting Phazon, you, you won't hurt Phazon. It'll just be more difficult because Phazon's in the way. What if I don't care about not hurting? What does Phazon want to do right? Or not, what does Boss want to do right now? Uh, boss is pretty focused on getting through this door. Okay. Then you tell me what you want to do and I'll tell you what to roll. All right, I'll try to, I'll try to, to get over here and, and force the door without, without brutalizing my new friend okay we doing something fancy with the technique just a normal headbutt i think I don't, I don't think i have too much in the techniques range that would work with a door or am i just smashing it down uh i will give you bonuses if you're creative with how you use your technique and tell me why why it might be uh, beneficial the way i gm is tell me through role play what you want to do and i'll give you bonuses and penalties based on it and how much i like your ideas I okay. want you guys to be very creative in whatever you say yeah, or do. I know exactly what I'm going to do then, right? Okay. I'm going to take this body, okay. and I'm going to use it as a battering ram. Ha <laughs> ha! Now we're talking. <laughs> okay, I'm going to give you. I'm going to give you a plus two, <laughs> but this battering ram's going to be. I'm going to tell you right now. This person will die. Boss does not care. Okay. <laughs> you go for it. Uh, is there a particular? What, what would I roll there? Just. Muscle, yeah. Muscle. Muscle will give you a plus two. Oh my god. <laughs> Everybody has their purpose, and this is yours, buddy. Here we go. One, two, <laughs> he squishes. And I mean oh squishes. <laughs> this is this is a this is like a grape. There's no blood, but it's kind of like you know like when you mess with like all uh, those those stick figure like art pieces that <laughs> use them, you know, to, for art references, it's like someone went right into it and destroyed it um you guys look this guy's dead i'm not i'm not sugarcoating it he's dead <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness <laughs> you just saw boss battering ram squish this guy like a grape against the door Move i can't i can't door. wait to walk into this room after this <laughs> <laughs> this three foot six guy <laughs> on the plus side door's almost unlocked right now <sighs> we have to kill another person? <laughs> Thanos, what did it cost, Boss, meme? This is just support action to clean any gore off of... <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Sorry, buddy. Uh, wiping it. <laughs> Shoulder oh, wipes. Sorry about that. I'll give, I'm gonna give you... I'm gonna give you two Valor for one batter, <laughs> battering ramming and two using a support action to clear the guts as if you cared. Because I don't think you do, but it's really funny. It was, he's, he's doing it sort of sarcastically. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, take two, Valor. Oh, One man. for the idea, two for the other idea. Kazari, I just want to ask, have you seen somebody actually die? Um, no. Not like that. Yeah. That's a little, that's a little gruesome and a little gory. And also, Boss was really cool and did all these cool things, but after seeing that, Kazri's a little, like, afraid of him now. And, like, kind of takes a step back a little out of shock. And... Oh, yeah. Like, this is, a, this is a nameless nobody. They're very evil people, but even still, this is just, this is a pancake right now. Yeah, that was a lot of power for a very small being. And Kazri is very small, but he knows he doesn't have that much power. So he he is he like sees he hears I think because he hears he is looking at the dragon thing and then he hears the kind of crunch and like looks over and just kind of sees the end of that mm -hmm. <laughs> speech and it's like oh wow and is just kind of speechless and staring at Boss for a bit. Um, Boss looks at Kazri and is like, well, there's five more bodies. There's one <laughs> next like, to me. There's one next to me. Kazri's like... You just gave me an idea for next time. I think you used too much hip. <laughs> and then like... 
Hey kid, think of it this way. You can use one of those bodies on Eden Pullet. Yeah, but there's still people? I get he's like very conflicted. <laughs> They're oh. bad guys, but How well, about this? Have, Keep your eye on that day. thing, cause it's got his eyes set on you. Oh, oh right. And he like shakes out of it and like looks at this dragon thing. And these are all crumbled, right? So I don't have to worry about movement that much here. No. Okay, well. Yeah, you still gotta use your move, but Three. This... Yeah, okay. So I'm gonna like kinda stand like I guess here on top of whatever the ruins are here. And it's like hands up, like approaching a wild animal stance. Okay. And he's like, um Immortal Wind Um, if that's you we can help you. Mm, yeah, and it kind of like looks at the dragon. No response. Its eye contact doesn't leave yours. It's eerie. It 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 just follows you. Its eyes are glued to you. It's as if you know, like those those like painting tricks in the horror movies where the yeah. eyes are following you. It's that. It's that. Oh exact gosh. Feeling. Um. Okay. Well. You can stay there, <laughs> and uh, if you need help, just uh, call out to us. And he like slowly <laughs> walks this way. <laughs> and that's it. <laughs> okay. Do it. He is this. It's following me. Alay. Um. Okay. <laughs> I guess I'm going to try to open the door, so I'm going to ask, uh, can, SP, can I try? <laughs> Be my guest. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to try to do uh, Saber, I guess. Let's do that. So you're going to stab me? No, the door! I was asking if you could move out of the way! <laughs> you can just, like... <laughs> just through his armpit. <laughs> Uh, so you have, you have, I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to help you out here. Okay. I'm nice GM. You have Saber 3. Oh yeah. You still numeral, you still put numerals on here. Which yes. Which is funny, but it's a lot, it's a smart area of effect. You can okay. blast with st Saber and you know for a fact it will just phase through, phase on. <laughs> um, but uh, impact him in no way. Okay, I will use that then. In the way that boss would have been it like, uh, in a bad spot if he didn't just battering ram this, you would have been in a bad spot and probably hurt phase yeah. on just in the distance. If you mm -hmm. use Saber 3, you could go through it immediately. Okay, I will do that. Saber 3! <laughs> that was so cute. <laughs> <laughs> that was cute. <laughs> Take a Valor. Take a Valor for that. <laughs> And Hegel the, too. Hegel too. <laughs> uh, the door immediately uh, breaks, and you see a lot of the inside. It's just a matter of going through. Uh, these mages uh, are gonna collectively try to motion their way past uh, a mortal wind. I'm gonna give them one collective roll, but it's either they get past this, they get past this and one step closer, or they fail. So, a more uh, okay. I I'm just not gonna roll hot tonight, guys. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> hey, we both. A mortal wind. A mortal wind uh, goes ahead and lets out a vicious roar that rings out throughout the whole basement like there's no there's no placing cover anymore you guys only have so much more time here until guards from the outside step in the cops are going to step in the jig is up you're you have to accomplish this business soon but immortal wind's going to try to give you every inch and every extension of time he could possibly grant but they're still here next time for sure a you feel a mortal wind. Just how he flew, he looks incredibly weak. You do not have much time here. But this creature, 
again, not taking their eyes off of Kazuri, uh, goes ahead and just walks slowly. And then it's it's it feels how much it is uncomfortable to walk. It flaps its wings and starts flying over to you. And it gets about here. And Kazuri, you're gonna be the only brunt of this. But it it wheels back it, it reels back its mouth and uh with no grace, no call like no call outs, eerily silent but besides this mist, it goes immediately through you and shakes you to your core. I need an aura resistance. Oh Jesus. I was hoping it would give him a little kiss on the head. Yeah, I was no. hoping he was going to, like, lick my hand or something. <laughs> like... Oh, man. No, um, no such luck. Yeah. Hold on. My uh, roll 20 is being a little weird. If you want to, like, move on, I will give it to you as soon as it... Uh, so we don't hold anything up. Archshine, like... you're here. Yay, okay. Then the door Look is at the open. dead body. The door is open, but you guys... Still need to actually get in this room. So movement counts. Okay. Um yeah, I'm going to two, three, four. I am going to shoulder my way through. Okay. <laughs> so one, two, three, four, five, six, I think. Because you started I put you here. So one, two, three, four, five. Okay, so that's your regular move. You got mm -hmm. an attack and support. Okay. Oh, it, can I see further into the room yet, or is there? Yeah, I'll give you give you this much. Uh, there you go. Okay, um, I'm gonna use my support action to just move uh, a little further. So I think that's an extra three, right? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. You see. Eden Paulus look like coughing on his bed. But then when he sees you, <coughs> I'm not out of this yet. And he look he looks towards you. There's a growl. It's a demonic growl in his voice. I'm not even gonna think about it. Um, I'm immediately going to attack him. <laughs> Okay. Uh, I will be using. Oh. Hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna use uh, another one of my my heart bolt clips. I'm gonna just, without even saying anything, just not even dignifying him with anything. I'm taking the clip out and I'm just hurling it. Okay. Give me a roll. He really sounds like he could use tea. Fine. <laughs> might be able to beat he this. He says he's not down and out. Ty goes to the initiator. Ooh. Ooh. You go. You go ahead, and your heartful clip nails him straight in the forehead. He smacks back into the wall. Falls. There's an audible, like thump, as he hits the wall. Falls to the bed. It almost shatters with his weight. He looks, he looks um, unconscious, I just, honestly. I just, like, give him the, the nastiest glare, and I just say, you disgust me. He looks unconscious. Wow. <laughs> I, I have the moral and, like, <laughs> high ground here anyway. <laughs> this would normally be when your turn comes up. But, but even Paula gets back up. He looks he looks bloody, he looks battered, he doesn't look good. But you can hear him. Heart hit a heartful clip. He knocked he got knocked down and he got back up. Um boss, you know you need to get into this room. These these guys, you know your job. Uh-huh. He's gonna keep coming up unless you do what you came here to do. Uh-huh. 
Whether you reveal that information is up to you. <laughs> Still my turn? Yeah. Alright, I'm, I'm going in. Okay. So, yeah, one, two, three, right. four. I think you need to use the support action because I think you only have four more. But you get there. You'll get there. Yep. Yeah, I use my support action. Okay. You're further across the room. And what do you do? I'm going to attack him. Gamma Spear. Okay, give me a roll. Okay, he's gonna try to defend. And no, he's no easily that that gamma sphere immediately connects. Uh, your your energy detonates completely on him. The area erupts in a huge blast. The bed itself is just gone. <laughs> gamma sphere. Oh! There's a lot of smoke in the air as. The blast just kind of clears, or like has to clear. And as soon as the smoke dissipates, you just see him. And he's just, he's, he's still standing. He, but he looks limping. He looks as if he's a walking corpse. Honestly, is very apt right here. It's, it feels like this isn't even Eden Pollard anymore. What is up with this guy? He's taking all these blows, but something's not right about him. Uh, let's see. Boss. All right, I have five, so I can I can do one, two, three, four, five movement, right? I can get right up next to him. You're, yeah, absolutely. <clears throat> okay, let's make sure I was calculating right. All right, boss goes in there and uh, stands next to Eden Pollock. Oh, hey, Eden Pollock. Right. Uh, so, yeah, you and I have to have a little talk. Um, he, he hisses <clears throat> as soon as you get up to him. It's, it's, it's so guttural. Um, boss reaches into his pack or whatever he's using to carry equipment and pulls out what looks like a hand vacuum. Okay. But it has very, 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 very sharp blades on the end of it. <laughs> oh, well, I want to veto this, but I'm not going <laughs> to. Okay, yeah. Anyway, we you should have talked to Austin because we designed this. But <laughs> you, you know what? If Austin's cool, then I'm cool with it too. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and he revs that sucker up. And it, like, you know how like on the end of like a vacuum, you have the brush, right? <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm oh going to be God. honest, I'm, I, I get it, but this sounds more like a chainsaw than it does a vacuum. No, 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 no. It's got a chamber, so there's there's active there's active air coming into the, the, the chamber. Oh, and so the there is a vacuum. Spinning. It sucks. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Okay. It sucks, but it has <laughs> blades on the end of it. Okay. It eats. I got it. Yeah. How do you pronounce his first name? Suvide? Uh, Suvite. Suvite. Yep. All right. Uh... I guess I gotta go through this part. Uh, Suvite Eden Pollock, by the power invested me as a purifier of this land. You gotta go, buddy. <laughs> and uh, I don't know what would be the most appropriate technique to attack him with the vacuum would be. No, no, here's the thing. You don't need to roll anything unless you want to. No, I'm, I'm, I'm good. Uh, and uh, Boss stabs the vacuum directly at Eden Pollock's heart. So immediately, when you stab this vacuum, I'm gonna cut the music here. Uh, when you stab this thing directly into his heart, um, the air, like the air, grows so cold, and everyone feels this. It's as if someone immediately just threw you guys in a freezer. Uh. You see what looks to be some silver substance 
start to come out of like the handle of the vacuum that you stabbed into him and it starts dripping and then it's it comes to everybody's mind this that's that's now his blood and it was red at first when coming out but it's just pure silver immediately oh. pure silver as you just hear guttural just c- crying just foul evil devastating noises um heart shine and sp you're seeing this the word purifier stuck in your brain i i need you guys to roll to see does that click okay. anything about what's going on I guess it's good the kids aren't in the room. Yeah. <laughs> like really a ghostbuster. I was definitely going to ask them to close their eyes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Who you got to call? So I failed to mention, I was going to give you uh, both a plus three. Okay. And so even with that bonus, SP, you're the only one who recognizes what a purifier does. <laughs> And they are who you call before anybody who might be anything associated with a demon gets out of control. That's the only thing you remember. But even so, as that flash of knowledge comes over you, you see Eden Pollitt. His hands grab for the vacuum, try to pull it out as if he's just trying to fight this with every last breath. I don't want to get too gruesome with this. But eventually, the motion stops. And it's just, his eyes go blank. Silver overtakes most of his body. And this looks like the purest silver you have ever seen. Well, that's one way to deal with it. Yeah, but that was a purifier. That purifies. So... What exactly is a purifier, then? If I'm not mistaken, those are beings that you usually normally call when you fight demons that are out of control. Why the hell did Eden Paul turn himself into that? Why else? What Power. demon? No. What demon? A lot of times people don't turn themselves into demons because that seems counter, counter, counterproductive, but... Let's just put it this way. He was a real jerk for a real long time. And that kind of leaves a mark on you. What do you know about Eden Paulet? You know. Why was he a purifier? Oh, no, no. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, no. Boss is chuckling. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, I'm the purifier. <laughs> He's the purified. Alay, you hear them say I'm a purifier, and I want you to make the same knowledge. With okay. Them. Okay, you get a 16. So Ooh. you know a little bit more about all this. This is the information you're running off of. Uh, purifiers, and you believe this. Because you heard it from your family. Um, they are a group of serial killers who hunt rich people and uh, who hunt... That's it. They're a group of serial killers who <laughs> parade around hunting rich people. You know this because your father spoke about a close family friend who was died a few years back with a pure fire suspicion. He left out the details that made the news about his human trafficking ring? Of course he did. <sighs> I'm wondering if Jim was like, got a new job. <laughs> like, <laughs> <laughs> you probably seen the news of that. But otherwise, you're not sure if these are legitimate people or serial killers. Mm. Oh, no, bro. That fact you don't know. Uh, scary. (laughs) 
I mean, they do kill a lot of people. Just it happens to be really evil people. Yay. <laughs> I think Brent's just scared that he can smell her income level. <laughs> <laughs> Like, look poor. <laughs> <laughs> I thought that would help lighten the mood. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, uh, good talk. <laughs> this is. What the hell is going on here? I would like to look around this room for anything else that gives any indication as to what happened here. Go for it. Give me an observation roll. Okay. Oh, by the way, while you do that, Kazari. Yeah. <laughs> when you go, when you go ahead and uh, th when that happens, uh, and you hear this this guttural noise is coming from Eden Pollitt. Mm -hmm. The eyes on this creature start to glow a little bit more, and it looks at you, it smiles, and then slumps over. Oh, oh no! Oh, <laughs> uh, Kazri is going to um, kind of like run over here, and then be like, Immortal Wind?! <laughs> just screams it down the hallway <laughs> there there's a pause before all of this and you hear you hear a mortal wind echo but here's the thing you hear you hear no return you don't know what's going on down here <laughs> but nobody comes Oh no! Uh, he's gonna like come back up here, and he's gonna be like, "Guys, I'm on a way." Uh, what? Um, I'm on a win. I, I I I think he's gone, and I don't know if he's okay. And I, I we should go check on him. Um, what? What? What happened? Oh. He's dead. He's dead. Uh, how did you... What... I mean... What did you do? I... I killed him. <laughs> but he's... <laughs> silver did... Oh, that's pretty... Pretty cool, I guess. <laughs> well, okay. Alright, fine. So, given the choice between the two, do you prefer silver or human battering ram? Um... <laughs> Is that a trick question? I'm just like, curious. Uh, Silver, I... just aesthetically? Uh, you know, that's a kind of morbid question, but if I had to choose, I guess right. not either. <laughs> I mean, I think you're supposed to just... So, well, are, are you done here? Is I... that what you came to do? Uh, well, yeah. Oh, all right then. You just um, gonna kill him? Well, what? can we search this room for <laughs> any uh, details that might give us what the hell is going on here? Heartshine searches. Other than the previous notes that you found, there's you're having a hard time finding it. Yeah. Uh, maybe I'm just not focused. <laughs> Everybody else can search. Okay. I think Bran kind of stays close to everyone because, like I said, I think she's not afraid of Boss. <laughs> Boss is like very casually cleaning off the blades of his vacuum. Oh, I did terrible. <laughs> just, like, she's too scared. There's no big deal uh, at all. This, this is not a good roll to fail. Also, uh, yeah. mind Why if I use my me? mind no. if I use my spirit sight? Yeah, you you could do that and see that help. And Joe, if you want to flavor anything of what happened to Eden Paul between the two of you, go for it. I don't want to give, I don't want to take over everything. If there's anything you want that, like, have look or happen, tell, tell me. Okay. Well, I rolled well, a 16. Huh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they, 
there's there's a crumpled piece of paper that would be so hard to miss but you feel it like a puddle in a huge lake right in one of these bookcases you uncrumple the note and there's a lot of information here and it connects so much this is definite proof of Eden Paulet of uh, exchanges of letters that he drafted and kept on his own going out to people directly calling them members of the enclave there's a direct message where he shows his confusion of why this loony grove person needs to disappear loony grove mm. there's even more writings about him hearing things but he doesn't write much about it there's him talking about experimentation of the Enclave with each other and his own worries. He worries a bit, but then writes that he quells these worries because we have plenty of test subjects from, and it says directly from the police in this note. And he writes himself that he writes himself into what seems like a bit of a happier moment. It looks it looked as though he was worried, but as soon as he mentions that he has plenty of test subjects coming in, the the mood of the writing goes a bit easier. Then he writes a little bit about his worry about Arcos and how much he wished Arcos never said anything about wanting to donate an artifact to Esther. Because it would be it would be terrible to know if anybody found out that that land is not sovereign nation. It's definitely old on enclave land. But finally, there's one last message. It's split into two. One about that he's worried why he can't control Mortal Wind anymore, and that. He's working on a solution, and that if it isn't broke, don't fix it. And then finally, directly quoted, Arcos, if you're reading this, do not stop. Continue our legacy. You're smart enough to figure out what's going on. You know, you'll know, you know why we cannot quit, not when we have so much to gain. I have the strangest feeling I will no longer be able to guide you in the future. Do not disappoint me. Oh boy. Police test subjects. Uh. That's what they were rounding up majors. You guys kind of get it now. You know the whole reason why I had to stab him and just not a, not a great person. Well, yeah. I mean, yeah, I could tell that by the people being tortured in cells and guys possessing people all the time. Uh but yeah, um good job at uh getting rid of him thanks <laughs> so you get rid of people like that for a living um yeah yeah you could call it a living so is I it would like get... a moral kind of thing or do you get paid you know a little bit of column a a little bit of column b oh well you love what you do you never work a day in your life you know how many people can really say that let's be honest <laughs> I mean, you're not lying, but with this red letter I read, I'm not saying, I'm not kind of trying to call targets, but would Arcos Eden Polis be on your next, be on your list next? Uh, maybe. Could have been assigned maybe. to somebody else. I have to go back and check with my boss. I mean, he's been doing this for a while. It might take a few years for Arcos to get where his father was. And we might have interfered early enough because, yes, he's uh, awful, but he's not evil. Yeah, I get the feeling he didn't know completely what his father was doing. You know, if I, could, if I could describe most of the people I have to talk to, most of the problems I have to solve, I think the word I'd use is irredeemable. So, you know, if you got to talk to his son, you might want to kind of, you know, nudge him in the right direction. Do that. Maybe, uh, 
guilt him into funding us. <laughs> or, honestly, just show him this. And he points at the silver corpse. <laughs> mm. So, uh... Boss. Anyway, we need to deal with the inside job. That is Arsenal and some of these other knights. Yeah. That's the more disturbing issue. Because right now, who's to say what he's doing at headquarters? I mean, we have a list of suspects, I think. Yes. Were you going to say, Zach? I was just going to say, so, but, and Boss knows this. As far as he's concerned, he doesn't have to do anything else. Oh, I'm totally done. I don't even know why I'm still standing here, to be totally honest. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, I'll leave it up to you guys. One important piece I do want to ask. Do you leave him here, or do you try to rid this corpse? Well, um, I don't think we should leave him here. Well, That's... it's a crime scene, so we shouldn't disturb it. We shouldn't it. touch it. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I guess. Um, As you guys him. speak, you hear police sirens start to get closer and closer. It's very muffled and hard because you guys are underground. But even still, time well, that's, of the essence. That's my cue, you guys. Uh, it was wonderful talking to you. Wonderful meeting you. Uh, he takes off the gem-studded cloak and tosses it at Kazri. <laughs> that's for you, kid. He, like, catches it and kind of, like, looks at it. And he's like, thanks, thanks, Mr. Boss. He's just kind of confused trying to contemplate everything. Does it have any blood on it? <laughs> yeah, is it gory? Silver, silver blood. blood? There's a lot of silver on it. He like but holds it, it up. Look better. It's just like sequins. Shakes I know he was cleaning bit. up the other guy too. Yeah. <laughs> Stares at like the hand vacuum with it's, the teeth. <laughs> well, well, I'm not gonna give you this. Uh, no, you can keep it. That's okay. All right. Well, the boss <laughs> puts it away. Ugh. He's just like staring at boss like his. Ideas of him have changed so much. <laughs> Neat gadget. Well, let's get I the hell out we, of here. Yeah, we need to head out and uh, at least give the briefing. Hopefully, they believe us. Before we leave, can I just check on Immortal Wind? Is he just gone, or is he? You as, as we go. You guys make your exit. Whenever you decide you're done here, when you look, it's. There's no sign of him. There's there's police trying to come in and all, already in arrest mages. They look at the flower corpses and are like, what sick joke is this? <laughs> <laughs> it looks like it's a calling card from one of some crazy serial killers that target rich people, I bet. 100% boss before leaving does the same thing with these guys. <laughs> <laughs> Very important. Very, very important. Brandon very didn't even know. kill those ones. The silver statue, like right he in the middle of it. The squished one. He leaves the squished one out. Yeah, it makes, oh, it makes the whole arrangement just like so tacky. Throws it all. Boss at, the, boss at the same way, he did all of this with a lot of load on his back. It what I don't you could be whatever reason you want, Joe, but uh once you throw it off. The power differential between you guys and him is immense. If he wanted to sprint past the cops and not be seen, he could. If he wants to bust a wall through this, he could. Uh, you know what? It's it was. I, I wish I had mentioned at the beginning. Um, the way we were going to modify Boss's power is he was actually holding two prisoners that he rescued under his arm the entire time. But. <laughs> It's like walking around with two people under his arm, but it didn't really, it didn't really come up. It, it oh, didn't. No. So I'm gonna flavor it. This could be whatever you want. It could be prisoners that just didn't come up, or it could be anything else. I think that, I think that's where I, other than touching that point and knowing what you guys are gonna do with this corpse, I think we're good to wrap soon. I think he had like the Rock Lee weights. Yeah, he probably, yeah. you know what? Honestly, like he just had a cold. <laughs> cold and like right right after he killed Eaton Pollock, the Tylenol kicked in. <laughs> nice. I think, and you know, I like that because that that expands a lot about purifier lore, uh, purifier lore, and when they actually complete a job. 
Austin, Austin could probably do with that as much as he wants, but I like that. Okay. But, but yeah, you... And once that happens, you guys look at him. If you pick the fight <laughs> just... with Boss as he is right now, not only would you lose, he would kill you faster than this kill took. Yeah, that's what I'm scared of. <laughs> Boss winks again. Well, cheers. <laughs> nice meeting you. Nice meeting you. Um, bye. bye. Bye, Mr. Boss. Oh, you could... It's just Boss. Oh. <laughs> boss. <laughs> does Boss make any fancy exit, bust a hole, just run straight through? How, how does he get away from a job? Well, well first free? of all, he, he, does, he does have to do the flower arrangement in this room. Um, oh, so, I'm so sorry. Here, here. Okay. So sorry. <laughs> Thank you. Um, it's Does it incomplete. put the statue in the middle of it? The silver, uh, you boss, you it. realize your fatal mistake. There was one, there's one more corpse I would have fixed this. And you kind of try to stretch it, it back stem. out. I just but... make it a stem for the, since it's so flat. <laughs> okay. Uh... Yeah. We, we got a, we got a little, we got a little stem. There you go. Oh Perfect. my goodness! It's go. like a lollipop. Beautiful. <laughs> and more token, but oh, here you go. Thank you. Uh, do these stairs lead anywhere? Do they lead to like an upper floor? Uh, what stairs are you talking about? These? Yeah. Oh yeah, that that leads to this guy's house. <laughs> All right. Yeah. yeah. Boss is gonna exit through the house. Uh, boss is gonna go upstairs, and, and kind of like do a, a cool speed vault over the balcony, and then he's out. <laughs> okay. Um, do you want do you, do you want people to kind of see you like what the heck is that or it's just like nah? Oh, he doesn't care. Yeah, people can see him. All right, people. <laughs> that's gonna change up a little bit what I do next session. Great. Yay! <laughs> that's what does not care if he has to punch anybody on the way out. He absolutely will. Um, <laughs> I love. Oh man. All right. Yeah. Uh, final question because I don't think I got a definite answer. Faison, you know for sure that was the biggest piece of evidence. You have the bit. You have the evidence now to link that Eden Pollitt has worked at the Maze Enclave. You have the evidence to work. The police knew not only knew, but supported transferring test subjects under Eden Pollitt's rule. And you also have the knowledge that there's something bigger with this project renewal than initially thought. But it's going to be a lot harder to get that information. I just need one last thing before we wrap. Does this stay or does this go? This is a crime scene, so. Yeah, but they're corrupt. Yeah, let's take it with us. We we gotta do we gotta eliminate. He can't stay. Can't stay here. But the police are corrupt. So if they right. see us carrying it out. Yeah, then they'll arrest us. So it's like kind of a lose-lose, but uh, yeah. we could, you know what? We could frame it as if we were trying to chase him. We saw him do the thing and we were like, hey, you can't do that. But then he got away from us. Oh, no. Good luck trying to catch him. Okay. Yeah. Okay. There we go. It stays. Stays? All right. This is why I was excited about this session. <laughs> this, this this was definitely a very different ending than I think we've ever had. But now with that, I'm going to go ahead and put on something a little more cheerful. Actually, no. I'm going to I'm going to play one little melody. It rings in all of your guys' head, and this is thanks to the very lovely Hawk in the Yay! Yay! Thank you! <laughs> Fan music! Yay! Yeah. Nice. Little theme, That's thank awesome. you! It's with, so cute! With that, it's time to wrap. I hope you guys enjoyed this interesting little episode yeah. of Valor Live. Thank you. I do want to say again, thank you so much, Joe, for being here. I hope you had fun. I definitely did. That was really fun. <laughs> Yay. Yeah. yeah. Thanks so much. Yeah. Thank you so much. Thank you. Yeah, thank thank you, you guys man. for having me. It was really great. Abs absolutely. The pleasure's all 
all ours. It was fantastic seeing Boss. You know what? I'm I'm glad you gave the nickname because I looked at that name. I'm like, I I don't know how to say that. <laughs> it's, it's, it's like a Latin word meaning nose. It means in it's Latin and Greek. It means nose crusher. <laughs> the way you pulled the nose. Nice. Yeah. Uh huh. Uh huh. Nice. A little no, little nod. And you, now you can see if you look at his character art, he's holding the. Yeah. Hey, the, the hey, nose. isn't that um a little on the nose? <laughs> <laughs> Oh uh, yeah, I can see the vacuum. Oh, yeah, room. great. That's what he's got. I was actually surprised <laughs> Six put it in there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I oh, love it. It's man. like a little mini Ghostbusters. Yep. Okay. <laughs> little Dustbuster. Oh, <laughs> okay. Yeah. Uh, so there's a there's a little bit more fan art. The only reason I'm hesitant and is because it would take a while, and we are running late because Hawk so gracious did some comic stuff what yeah, yeah. it, it looks to be in progress so we might want to wait yeah but... so i think i'm gonna hold off for that and i think i was good to end on the notes but people might be asking in the chat hey fan art i don't see anything in the chat here where can i find it well lovely viewers if you want to go ahead and follow more of what valor live is going to be up to feel free to join our discord uh, where we talk a lot about the general setting, the Valorous setting that Austin has put together for this map, uh, talk GMing uh, tips, people post pet pictures. It's a very lovely, <laughs> very lovely place to be. You should definitely join if you haven't already. Um, I'm just going to go through a few closing things. I know it's getting late and I don't want to keep you guys up. Again, uh, we're using the Valor system, my favorite system. You can find it on uh, Patreon for early access stuff, along with itch.io. And again, store envy, $10 off for the rest of the year. If you like what you saw, please, please, please go ahead and buy uh, the system yourself. Uh, it's so much creativity and freedom, especially uh, with a good party. And uh, if you're looking for a new system to try out, please give this one a shot. I hope you guys saw how much fun everybody was having with this. I want to say a lovely thank you to my fellow players again. You guys have been great. Another special thanks to Joe. Thank you for being here. I'm going to shout out all the people behind the scenes. Austin, who's put this all together. Charu for the stream. Six in a heart uh, for all the art. Um, I'm not sure if there's anybody else I should shout out. Oh, by the way, because I always forget this. The music you've listened to is from Purple Planet Music and the YouTube Audio Library. And Purple Planet Music especially, go check out their stuff best uh royalty free music site i have ever used with that though i think we're good it is very late yeah uh, <laughs> everybody deserves mm. have a good rest uh everybody thank you all for being here and i hope we all see we see you all next time everybody say goodbye to chat bye, bye. bye. thank you see you guys <laughs>